Hello, sumo fans. Welcome back. I hope you like that new intro. It's something we've been working on. So, it has been probably the longest and shortest summer ever in it terms feels, of summer and uh, sumo. Yeah, I. it felt like it's been so long for yeah. me. Couldn't even find the tables. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, but at the same time, there's been there's been a lot of content this summer, through all of the various sources, and that's I'm definitely a fan of that. Yeah, it's great that there's such an outreach to get people more into sumo, and you know we were just looking at the uh, the beautiful graphic of Hoshuryu, and it says that the September tournament is sold out. Yeah, so it's it's performing well, and more people. September, I feel now now that we have more tourism going in. Uh, it's like, of course, it's going to be sold yeah, out. It's going to be sold out. So we're everything. Everything's coming back. Yeah, it's it's back a to form. It's a good thing, and you know, it's back in Tokyo. You know, the Tokyo ones are always like jam packed. But you know, we're going to be talking about a lot of ups and downs in the sumo world right now. It's a little chaotic. It's a bit. It's a bit of. It's it's chaos. But some of the things that we wanted are finally here. Yes. So, so there's there's that yeah, it's a it's a big old mess, but we gotta get into it. So let's let's do that. Let's start at the top as we always do with Terano Fuji, one three and eleven, dropped out of the um, July tournament. So we've all heard the reports. You know, the knees the knees are one issue, but now he has a back problem. Second issue. Once that it's like a car, right? First it's your brakes. Then it's your rotors. Then it's your motor. It, like just there's the slow breaking down until you have to say goodbye. So that's where we're at with Terano Fuji. I mean, how much time do you think we really have with this guy? I think he'll be able to show up for a couple more tournaments. One, two, maybe three. I feel like he still said that that ten you show goal. So like I feel like the absolute second he gets ten you shows, he's gone. I am not sure if he'll get those. Yeah, but. I feel that he well he has to show up at least once, if for no other reason than the than for his pride. Agreed. He's like, not, he is he is not gonna retire off a of Kujo. No, and I don't think he wants to retire after some of the losses that he had. No, I mean no. they were some pretty epic he losses. Wants, yeah, he wants to come come what may get a strong showing as the Yokozuna before he hangs it up, but. Uh, yeah but yeah now yeah we both of us sort of just put our hands in the air right (laughs) it's like what's what's your dream versus what is reality i did hear in you know the various sumo reports that his knees are actually better which i do believe because i've known people who've gotten the double knee surgery and in the very beginning it's really really rough and then all of a sudden you just hit a point where it's better so i believe his knees are better But that back situation, I mean, look at Takeyasu. He's been battling back Uh issues for five years, so... Didn't didn't he have a herniated disc or something, Terunofuji? I I heard rumblings of that that, as well. Herniated disc, you're really... These are all things that you need surgery to improve Mm -hmm. your quality of life. This dude's going to be in the hospital for like a month getting a tune-up when he retires. Yes. (laughs) So, you know... It's good to at least see him there because there's going to come a point very soon where we're not going to have any Yokozuna, I think. Yeah. So for September, I think unlikely he shows up. Yeah. I think it's a little too soon. A little too soon. Um, now he's he's talking as... It, there, there is that like that coy, weird dance that they do when everybody goes up to them and they, they give that to Waka Takakagi. We'll talk about that. Uh, yeah. I'm glad uh, you brought that up because yeah, I'm I, like, what are you saying I, I, right now? So, yeah, that's... <laughs> That, that was wild. That is the epitome of guys. Can you read the room? Just <laughs> but, stop, okay? Yeah, but they go to him and they're like, "Oh, you think you're fighting?" And like, I, I, it's a weird. You can't just give the blunt answer. He's talking about, "Oh, my knees are better, but the back's bad. I haven't been doing any sumo, but I'll do what I can." It's just this weird dance that he's been doing. I, but it is the Japanese way. Yeah, I think reading between the lines, he will not show up. Yes. Uh, he will probably rally for November. Um, and that's the safe move as well. So that's well, if he shows up on day one, you know, I'm I'm not gonna complain. No, I would never <laughs> complain about seeing Terano Fuji. Yeah. yeah, if he chucks somebody halfway across the stadium, okay, we're good. Yeah. 
But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I We've would, been surprised before. Yeah, I wouldn't hedge bets on him, uh, mm-hmm. which is going to be well continued good news for the people directly below him who are ready to make names to themselves. Right. So you're, we're looking for the next you show winner. You know, is it going to be a repeat or is it going to be another new guy? And they're all like, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. my chance. Speaking of which, we have Kirishima, Ozeki One East, up from Ozeki One West. Okay, Kataban Shinozeki. Tell me if you've heard this one before. <laughs> this is the first time I have ever seen a promotion on a Makakoshi. Yeah, I know, right? I, was, I, I had when I did the there's the guess the Banzuki game. I'm like, there's no way it doesn't like it doesn't matter. They can't get promoted. And they got promoted. I'm like well, everybody uh, lost on that one. I bet. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some people took a chance. On I think it. I think there's some people who knew more than I did. But I that threw me off. I had never seen that. But I guess if somebody has zero wins and the other person has six, right? But, <laughs> and that's the state that we're in. Okay, sure. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Somebody's got to take the spot. Yeah. Can't have two Ozeki, one Wests. Yeah, so it seems like he's healthy. You know, nobody's really talk. If somebody's talking about their injury, it means that's it. They're, they're in trouble. Mm-hmm. If they're not talking about their injury, they may still be injured, but it's not bad enough to talk about. Yes. So we can say that Kirishima's in decent enough shape that he's not talking about an injury. We were robbed of a healthy Kirishima in july so yeah. if he is if he is at fighting fit it's going to be a treat because like seeing ozeki level kirishima i think is going to just change everything and it gives him an opportunity to like he could clear kataban and possibly win the U show and then we could just hurry up and get out of this because how many times has a ozeki candidate won the U show before being ozeki and then not able to win it as ozeki and then gets demoted yeah this, it'd be nice to clear that little curse right away and just move yeah, forward. I think at barest minimum, he can clear Catabon. I think eight wins for him is not, it's a non-factor. Yeah. It's its then how far can he go from there? And I think there's a good chance he, that he breaks that curse, but right. there's there is a lot of stuff going on. There is. Um, I will say that Chris Sumo had a report where he did a lot of practice bouts with Wakamoto Haru and he won pretty handily. So, um, I think that's a good sign too. And we'll see. I mean, he shocked us when he like pulled out of the first couple of days of the tournament, like the night of the tournament. Yeah, that was night for us, day for them. Terrible luck. But, but it's going to reverse this time. This is what we've decided. Yes. So. Next, we have our dear friend Takakesho Kujo in the last uh, tournament. So, once again, we have this repeating record. Kataban Keisho will either demolish his foes and be in Yusho contention or barely scrape by eight wins, doing everything and anything he can, including Hanka's, probably. Um, here's, here's the interesting thing about him. This is my favorite part, but also it's a hor- horribly annoying part. Has anybody noticed that Takakesho just doesn't ever give interviews? He just doesn't. And when he finally does give an interview, you, you don't get you get these short answers, but they're very punchy. So his answer to the fact that he hasn't done any practice bouts yet. Now we know that the sumo press they judge your condition. They're trying to read between the lines. Yes based on how your practice bouts have gone. And if you haven't done any practice bouts since, you know, before the July tournament, that means you're going to pull out, right? So they asked Takakesho this. And Takakesho's answer is, I've been in sumo for 18 years. I think I know what it feels like to have a fight. I don't need a practice bout. <laughs> it's so cheeky. I'm like, this guy, <laughs> this guy makes me laugh. That's There's such bravado in that answer. But at the same time, it tells you nothing because it's like he's trying to will it to happen. Mm -hmm. And you just don't know what the actual truth is. And I don't think he does either. I think he really says, you know what? I'm just going to go and find out what happens. I think I think for him, it's just like there's there's no way of guessing how I'm going to perform. I just need to perform. Then I'll see what happens. Right. And I'm not even going to try to do a practice bout to mess with my mind because he was also talking about how. He has a certain way that he does things, and he's not going to deviate from that. And that means he wants 
all the conditioning up to practice bouts to be a certain way. Mm-hmm. So I think he is just going to go in on day one and wing it. Yeah. And that's why we have the broken record of you show Takakesho and, you know, barely scraping by. Yeah. I Yeah. Also, I think he's, there's a, the way his injuries are, he's just like, I'm not going to chance it. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah. I am just going to just, you know, not, not going to, not going to do a cold dry run or anything. Right. Just go in there and. It, it's an interesting strategy. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. I mean, he also did his, his, at this point, textbook, you know, if I do badly, it's because I'm not worthy uh, speech. Which, <laughs> that, it, it, that is also his trademark. He's it, just like, it's like if I lose, it's because I wasn't strong enough. I'm just like, oh. He, in some ways, is like a living, breathing anime character because he always just says those those things. Like, if you're strong, you, yeah. you live. If you're weak, you die. It's that soul of the samurai, like, really... Almost, almost to a trope. Yeah, but the thing is, he's not faking it. Like some people would say that and it'd be cheeky. He means what he's saying. He, he just, he's something else. That's all I can say. <laughs> he's a great character for sumo. Yeah, he, for it's sure. fun. And oh, well, I am hoping now, now we don't. The way he got his kachikoshi was not clean. I would like it to be clean, but I feel that. He would probably rather die on the dohyo than lose Ozeki status at this point. Yeah, we've been, you know, going back and forth as to, you know, how will Takakesho's career end? Will it just like fade or will he have like the spectacular crash out? I think we know the answer. I think he's going to put himself out there until something catastrophic so, yeah. happens. Yeah, until it's a complete mess. I I am I am optimistic that we will have three Ozeki leaving the year. Because if both of them clear Katoban. Then we at least have another then we tournament. At least we have that. And I'm I'm going to we're gonna talk about him imminently, but I'm going to bet that Hoshoryu is not going to get Makikoshi twice. No, and there's an interesting rivalry between Takikesho and Hoshoryu. Hoshoryu has not been able to beat Takikesho consistently. So I think the two of them are gonna fire each other up now that Hoshoryu is in the in the mix. Yeah. So this could be a really good thing the three that we currently have if Takakesho can just physically keep it together. So since you mentioned the man, let's talk about the man. Hoshuryu Ozeki 2 West up from Sekiwaki 1 East. Beautiful ending to July where he wins the U show, gets his Ozeki promotion. Another 12 and 3. We'd like to see some 13s and 2s. Yeah, be, well, we'll get there. Nice. But once again, now we have a Shin Ozeki and we've seen how that hasn't gone the best. Guys, it's 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 a tall order. Um, Hoshiro is already talking about like it's no big deal, which means that he's feeling the pressure. <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> it is. Um, will be interesting to see. Um, in the back of my mind, part of me is l- thinking back to how Shodai got the Ozeki rank that he was sort of doing well, and then he sort of like squeaks squeaks a U show and then yeah. slips in. So it's up to Hoshiro, and I I believe that he can sort of prove that this wasn't just some happenstance right that now, he the, didn't just slip in through the crack slip in through the cracks now that's not i suppose it's that's not his brand like yeah. if we were always talking about oh it's gonna happen one day like we, like we're already looking at him saying he can be yokozuna yes um it is it's just going to be a hell of a lot on him and in the past when there's been a hell of a lot on him he's had some issues uh so it's gonna it's i suppose i'm looking forward to seeing how he tackles what will now be the biggest challenge. Yes. Like you work so hard to get to Ozeki, but now this is where the real work begins. Is, yeah. Um, there is an interesting piece. Um, NHK has a show called uh, Sumo Salon that they will, they will take a, they will take a topic and they will deep dive it. Um, more, more sumo content that just came out over the last couple of months, which is just so great. And they had mentioned about how difficult Sekiwake is specifically. Oh, I got to check that and, one out. Yeah, it's online, uh, so video. Well, on I've demand. seen some of them, but I didn't see that one. This, it came out like last this week, last oh, week, okay. very recently. Awesome, um, and it, it's interesting because we always, I mean, we're always ragging on the Ozekis for having the worst time in sumo, but they make some really solid points for the Sekiwaki having a really bad time, and so it, and I can I can sort of extrapolate from there that somebody's just like getting to Ozeki is so hard. Yeah, how can it be any worse? I'm like, <laughs> 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 as Takakesho. <laughs> As, even as, you know, the Yokozuna is like, 
that's its own level of pressure too, but at least you get the fact that you can take rests. Yeah. yeah. So the X factor is whether or not the Hoshiryu swagger is going to carry him. Combine that with a lot of people being injured, a lot of people already seeming to buckle. I do think he has that advantage in that everybody's hurt, like hurt to the mm-hmm. point where they're talking about it. Like I was saying, like if you're talking about it, it's bad. Um, But I do think... I think Koshiro needs to get a little bit bigger. And I don't necessarily mean heavier, but like he needs to bulk up a little bit because now everybody's gunning for you as Ozeki and you can't yeah. you can't let them push you out. That was that was the deciding factor for Kirishima when he was Kiribayama. Is yeah. that he bulked up a little bit. Like he, he there there is that it's like it's like the the Haramafuji, the Hakuho build. Yeah. You're not that like they don't look they didn't look like the sumo build. But those guys are still like three hundred something pounds. Exactly. Like you need sort of like, and that's Hoshiru. He's never gonna be somebody with a gut. He's in not sumo. Gonna be, he, he's not gonna be Taro Fuji size, no matter how much he eats. Exactly. So he just needs to build up. Like he just can't be pushed out. And there was actually this really funny short on. I shared it in the community tab. There was this really funny short where um, these guys were trying to push Hakoho out, like just push him, and he's in like a suit and like dress shoes and they couldn't even move him an inch you know and this guy's been retired for like two years so it's still these guys i'm like i'm pretty sure if you go to chairman hakaku you try to push them out no way guys guys in his 60s is like i'm still me exactly so (laughs) it's just more of i think koshiru needs to be very careful that his lightweight self still could work against him he just needs to be real solid but he's got the footwork so i i agree with you the the potential for way better than this is there, and I think he'll do it as long as nothing goes wrong. No, nothing goes wrong, and then there's also the potential for for, for sort sort of a very public breakdown. <laughs> but I don't. I I feel I like I feel like he's the kind of person like he'll he'll have those few days of nothing's working, and then he'll just uh, thrash it all together. Yes, he's very good at overcoming. Overcoming. So that's so it's like it's almost a win win for. For the viewing audience. Oh yeah, we're and- we're always gonna win with Hoshiri around. <laughs> <laughs> he it's never dull. Yes, yes, but but all three of these Ozeki, if they get eight wins, then we've got Ozeki through the rest of the year, and that like for me, that's what I want. I know it's like our base level goal right now is yes. just to have the three Ozeki. So speaking of Ozeki, here is one who was a potential Ozeki, and it all fell apart. Daisho Sekiwaki One East up from Sekiwaki One West nine and six. For him to actually get Ozeki this time, he'd have to win the U show with a fourteen and one, and even then, they might not give it to him. Yeah, it's like maybe a thirteen and two. Like the 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 math is he needs fourteen wins to get to that magical thirty three. But the thirty three has always been a sort of a iffy thing. Iffy thing. Like sometimes you get thirty three and they don't like you. Sometimes you get thirty two and they're like you're close enough. So like I do like. A Zen show, you show from Daie show, and he's Ozeki. He's Ozeki. <laughs> now that was already a tall order for Daie show, who would have trouble getting more than eleven wins as it is. But now there's mention of injuries. Yes, apparently he got injured in the July tournament, broke a rib. That does tell you something about how tough Daie show is, though, because he didn't pull out and he's fighting with a broken rib. But I mean that that took all the steam out and. What are you going to do now? That ex- that explains the fall apart, though. It does, because he went from, like, this is his to falling apart. I should have known. I should have eh, known it was an injury, fine. but, you it's, know. Well, it's also both both him and Wakamoto Haro were sort of going through the same thing. Yeah. And that they were, it was that those last five days, it was make or break, and it looked like they couldn't get it together. And there was that one time Daisho, like, almost, like, fell over by himself versus Tamawashi. Yeah. And at that point, I'm just like, ah, oh, he's in his own head. Right. Now... now had a broken rib to that sure you're, you're you're in a it's a probably a bad time to try to be ozeki <laughs> yeah you, you might be having second thoughts on it you know but daisho's tough he's tough yeah he'll I, rebound yeah i think i think for him a goal of double digit wins is about as good as you're gonna get if you can get 10 and 5 then he's at least keeping it going right not letting it completely not, fall, not apart. Letting it fall apart if he gets another nine wins then he could be the next career sakiwake <laughs> yeah um which is as as history dictates it's it's a very 
it's not a very favorable t- place to be. No, you you just like s- claw and scrape to keep it forever, and then before you know it, you're out, it's and your then out. it's done. So, like you were saying, Makamoto Haru, Sekiwaki 1 West, up from Sekiwaki 2 West. Similar situation, though I don't think there's an injury. Um, 9 and 6. Likely, his whole Ozeki thing has been wiped out, and he's got to start all over again. Yeah. If he, so, I think Daisho and Wakamoto Haru have the same records in terms of numbers. Oh, really? Um, But the thing is, is that Wakamoto Haru is real shaky mm, in those yeah. last few days. Now, there is a there is a recency bias so if wakamoto haru were to get 14 and one they may just open the door for him anyway right um, it's what know. have you done for me lately exactly so if he put if he does if he does 15 days of incredible sumo in september then i can see them saying all is forgiven and just handing it to him yeah uh, but he he needs to get that for same same thing as daisho it's just like can he get a 14 and one is right. that in wakamoto haru right now uh may like for maybe if he is healthy and if he if he does a learning experience kind of a thing, those Walker brothers, the stress just rolls right off their back. Like, That's it's, true. It's almost out of character for him to get all those nerves. Yeah. In July. That's true, and and it probably won't repeat itself. It was probably a moment in time where the pressure got to him, but it's like, okay, well now I've been through that. What's pressure now? Yeah. I so there's a. I have an optimistic spin on Wakamoto Haro, at least compared to Daisha, because if Daisha is really fighting those injuries, it's, that is a. That's a hard ceiling to break through. But for Wakamoto Haru, if it was all mental, I think he's got the mind to handle that. He certainly got the skills. He does. He's like one of the most skilled guys in sumo. So, yeah. So it'll be very. So, where we are looking to Hoshuryu to see how he handles that pressure, I'm sort of be looking to Wakamoto Haru for the same thing. How do you handle this pressure, knowing that you sort of you stumbled a little bit? Can you get it back? Can you? Yeah, can you regroup? Can you just forget about it, act like it didn't happen? Exactly. And this is where we're going to get to know some of these guys even better. Even better. You know, you can't really know a person until you see them in the struggle. So we will see. We will see. Speaking of... It's hard to call him a struggler, but in a way he's a struggler. That would be uh, Kotonowaka, Sekiwaki 2 East, up from Komusubi 1 East, 11 and 4. Typically, you wouldn't talk very negatively about 11 to 4, and I'm not necessarily going to do that, but he sh- he seems like he's a better fighter than his results are coming out. Like, he should be in the Ozeki. Yeah. Yeah, he- it is. It is. Yeah, I, I would agree with you that it is on paper. You talk about somebody struggling with 11 and 4. You're like, what are you talking about? You're you're you're, you're almost on an Ozeki run. Yeah, but for Coach Nowak, it does feel like he's fighting everything. Like, he's fighting his own body. He's fighting himself. He's fighting his enemy. He's fighting the... Again, like, we always talk about, like, the the Miyagino Oyakata curse about yeah. all the expectations. That's on him as well. And he's just sort of been quietly dealing with it. And the the step up to Sekiwaki, for me, says, we think you're ready now, buddy. Make a run for it. This is going to tell us. This is... So there's a there's a few things here like Hoshiro if he does well or not eh, you know for Wakamoto Haro like he's not gonna get we likely will not get Ozeki prove me wrong Wakamoto Haro get Ozeki yes <clears throat> anyway but for Kota no Waka like it is how he does here is going to affect the next six months of his sumo yes because if he gets ten wins he's on an Ozeki run he's like again getting ten wins at Sekiwake is a lot more important than 10 wins at Kamasubi or 11 wins in this case. Conversely, if he gets nine or eight or even Makakoshi, then it's, it's showing that he's still, cause it's, it's going to take him three tournaments to get back to where he is. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's very interesting. And he's, he's showing like we're looking at him. We're like, okay, the weather forecast may, may, we may not need the umbrella today. It's funny you say that because that's exactly what it's like. It's like putting your finger up into the wind mm-hmm. and like which way is it blowing because whatever Kotanawaka's demons are doing to him, it's creating some some chaos. Some chaos, yes. And the X factor for, well, I guess it counts for all the Sanyaku, is that a lot of the, the, the new hot shots are starting to make their way up. And so... We actually, we actually, this is one of the first. This is probably the cleanest Sanyaku we've seen in a little while. We had like yeah. sevens and eights. Now we're down to five, and like you look at all five of these people, and they're like, makes yeah, sense, makes sense. 
Makes sense. Beforehand, we're sort of just like, oh, yeah, like, it's like, well, we can't get rid of you or, you know. We're waiting for some, yeah. like, for something to break and yep. people so to fall down. We're in, a, we're in a good spot. And the, so the problem for him is there's, you know, n- there's no buffer. You know, he's not going to fall into Kamasubi 2 West from here. No. So it's going to be either an epic crash out or his yeah. beginning to ascend. Yeah. And again, get, get 10 wins and he can pass by Daisho and Wakamoto Haro and get to Ozeki before both of them. Boy, would that sting, huh? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure you made sure that wasn't going to be him this time. Yeah. <laughs> and I think if he gets to Ozeki, he takes the grandfather's Koto Sakura. Wow. I think. I think. That'd be cool. It, it's a similar de- deal with Kirishima in that you go to Ozeki, you get the ch- name change, and very likely what's going to happen with Haku Oho. But, yeah. But we know that O is just going to go... F- well, well, we'll we'll cross that O when we come to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Okay, so now we have Nishikigi, who comes to be one East, up from Magashiro one East. This is his highest rank ever. He has yes. never been Sanyaku before. In the interview he gave, he said it's like the the third slowest ascent into the the Sanyaku in history or something. Which <laughs> I found funny that he would even know that, but um, you know, he was. He was poised to win it, but at the same time, you know, like, whoever the front runner in usually ends up getting knocked out, yeah. unless you're a Yokozuna. Yeah. In, in his interview, he also talked about how he just sort of ran out of steam and the pressure got to him and he just couldn't handle it. If if the only thing that held him back was pressure, oh boy. Here yeah. Comes an, here comes the next veteran sensation. Right. I'm wildly optimistic here. So I'm just, I'm setting myself up for failure. But I'm looking at Nishikigi and I'm thinking of like a, a like a Tochi Notion style late. That would Ozeki. be so cool. It would be amazing. Now, again, again, one, one, ten and five does not an Ozeki make. <laughs> this, this, I, the, the cart is so far ahead of the horse, you can't even see the horse. Um, but th- this is what September is going to tell me for Nishikigi. Because now, something else to keep in mind is typically when these people get to Sanyaki for the first time, they're then quickly shown the door. Yes. That Now that, that curse has been broken a couple of times recently. Right. So there's a new precedent in town. So we have all this stuff. We have like, here comes here comes veteran Sanyaku. Usually they go down, but here's a guy who like, how's all this momentum going? This, I, I, I have no read on it. So all I can do is play the wildly optimistic card. Well, I think there's some clues that like would uh, back up your... Optimism. A little bit. And one would be the way that he beat Terano Fuji. There was such a confidence and a strength. And when I was rewatching it, I thought to myself, he's probably got the attitude of, I've been doing this a long time. Like, I should be able to beat a Yokozuna at least once. I also love his no sell. Yeah, like he, I know, he right? He chucked a Yokozuna. And he was just like, whatever. Yeah, and he, he's just like, oh, I guess I did that. Yeah. Or whatever. Just another day at work. Um, day one. We just. I just had to get the rest out. It yeah, matter. you know, <laughs> this is just how it is. Yeah, and then like you see him in interviews, and he's like wearing glasses, and he's all smiley, and he's just he's just a different person in that ring. And I do think you know if Tochi Noshin can do it, somebody else can do it too. Somebody else can do it. We're just waiting for that yeah, person. We were we were well, maybe Tamawashi was too much to ask out of him, but he was the last time that we're looking at him and like, ooh, he's in Sanyaku. He we won thought. the U show. Yeah, we thought like, it was possible. Mm. He but, much older than Tochi Noshin, though, when Tochi Noshin yeah, did his thing. Yeah, yeah. So I mean for yeah, for Tamawashi was sort of a it was, that, that was that was the Hail Mary pass. Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, still, still, I'll say it's still a fifty yard throw if we're gonna keep it the football analogy. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, I would ag- I would agree. We'll we'll see how those wide receivers run this. <laughs> So now we have another guy who sort of, boy, in some ways he's a controversial guy, I'll tell you. The internet either loves or hates him. Toby Zaru, Komusubi 1 East, up from Magashira 1 West, 9 and 6. So the flying monkey doing his thing. And, you know, he's he's in the Sanyaku. He overtrains with Terra no Fuji. Dehydrates, passes out a couple times. Yeah, heard about that? I'm like, come on, man, get water. <laughs> yeah, and then like the press wanted to attack Terra no Fuji, so now Toby Zaru's got another. Like, you should see the division over this guy. People were mad about the loose Mawashi. Other people were like, he's just smart. People were mad about the dehydration because they're like, don't come after Terra no Fuji. You know, drink some water. You know, like 
he's just he's just doing a lot of stuff. He's 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 that guy who's just yeah. like flying around like a little black fly, but it's working now. It's finally yeah, it's paying off. There is a there is a buzz both outside and inside because he there, that that sort of playing for keeps kind of style. So like but, but it's still mixing in the wiliness, the, mm-hmm. the you know the slaps of Paris and stuff like that. But like more often than not, I think where that nine and six comes from is him just getting serious and getting mean. Yeah, the there's ring. a mean streak to there's him. There's a mean streak, and that's it's that. It's it's that that power that's fueling him, and I think in the back of my mind, it's just like if I get in there, you know, I can really just dig deep and get this. And he's been it's so for, before he and he got up to Sanyaku on his more uh, more wily ways, which are still good and fun, and he sort of got slapped out of it. Now now here comes here comes the power, and so it's gonna be a different it's gonna be a different take. Also, again, if you if you if you up to Sanyaku and you've been knocked out of it before. You tend to stick around a little more. Right. And, you know, for all that went wrong with that whole training session with Terano Fuji, it was really good for him to feel the power output of Terano mm-hmm. Fuji because he really needs to be able to, if he's going to be in Sanyaku, he needs to be able to hang with guys who are going to just blast him. Absolutely blast him. And it's going to be consistent because when you're in the middle, you might get one or two of those matches. When you're in Sanyaku, that's like every match. The Tachi Eye is just going to be so punishing. Um, that brings up an X factor that I think we brought up before, but it's definitely going to be irrelevant now. Now that we're back to the tours, mm. uh, something that I remember is there's a few people that made mention that didn't get in as many practice bouts because they're all on tour, they were doing press, or they were injured. And so beforehand, we had made mention that there were some people that were doing well because they had the rest. Yeah. Now that the tour is back, you'll have the people who are get fired up from meeting the fans and keeping it going and hanging out with everybody. And then there are the people who will be drained. Yes. That's going to come back around. And I mean, that was a, that was a whole conversation that we had prior to the, to the world ending. Right. COVID. But now that, now that the, now that people are going back to things that they did prior, now we're going to maybe there are some people that are going to be a little bit more, fired up maybe we would find there are some people who were dragging her feet a little bit yeah i mean i'll tell you in my own situation if i have to practice karate at home i do a decent workout i know what i'm supposed to do but it is way different when i'm in the dojo and i'm watching the other people and i'm watching i watch somebody leapfrog me in a belt and i was just like and it makes me punch that much harder it makes me kick yep. that much harder it makes me pay attention that much harder like you, some people, and I'd be one of them, need the fuel of others either to watch mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or the crowd or they, they need the pats on the back or they need the, you suck. Like, it is a different yeah. world. And they've been out of it for about, I think it was two and a half years before the uh, this stuff came back. So you're going to see some guys almost differently than others. And then you'll have the guys who never missed any of it because they just came up and they'll just... You know, they'll just be fine. Yeah, I mean that's a good point. Hakuoho never had to deal with that. No, he's like just coming up now, so it's the, it's a very interesting like behind behind everybody's thoughts factor. So, your guy Hokuto Fuji, Hokuto Fuji Yusho, Hokuto Fuji Yusho. That was like okay. <laughs> <laughs> that little five second video that you did had more views than like all of our live streams. I mean, I just thought that was amazing. I got so fired up. The, I am still. The fans uh, were very happy. I am still riding that high, by the way. And so, like, when it came to talking about Hook to Fuji, I'm just like, all I'm gonna do is tell you things that have make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the fun part, though. Sumo can't be all serious. There has to be some fun. It, it's it's way fun. So. He is back, I guess, back to where he was before the whole fall from grace. 12 and 3. 12 and 3. My goodness. He's uh in an interesting place now because w- at, at first I was just like, oh, he'll be back in Kamasubi. He'll be going on his own rec- Zeki and he'll get the cup. Ah, da, 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 like, like I would. <laughs> of course. Um, but I was thinking over to, and I, again, I love the thematic pairings, Meisei, and that they uh, we'll talk more about Meisei because he's got a bit more going on. 
but both of them are in a place where this is where they were before, but the landscape is completely different. Yes. And the people they're fighting, the level of the sumo, the competition is, it feels fiercer than it was when both of these guys were here last. Right. Like when they were the guys who were the top tier guys, like they're not anymore. They're the resurging guys. Uh Has Hokuto Fuji ever made Sanyaku? Kamasubi. Okay. He, t- he he did the he did the uh, he he touched base and then he got immediately knocked down and, and never came back down and never came back up. That was and now he had he was the he was the guy who sort of had like the the, the nine and six at one west, but there was no room in Sanyaku for him. Ugh. That was that was back when you know when you had Shodai, Mitakiyumi, Kakakesho going up to Ozeki, and then you had Takayasu coming down. And there was, so that was the, the sort of the, that log jam was, was the world where Hokuto Fuji was pushing up. And, and there's, we, there's room for him now. There, there's room for him now. Um, and, you know, an eight and seven, a nine and six at one east, there's only one place for you to go. Exactly. And after a 12 and three performance, barring any like fatigue or injury, he should have enough confidence to just. Do his thing to go one rank higher. It did. It, it felt like everything clicked in July. So really, in September, it's going to be that like did everything finally make sense? And now you sort of got it figured out. Or you know, is it going to be sort of like a Tsurugi show in May mm-hmm. that it was like everything just converged and everything made sense? And then, and then you know, then the you know, then Venus came out of alignment for you. <laughs> I don't think that will happen for him. I really I, do think that Sanyaku is a realistic possibility. Yeah. I, I will, I will hear nothing of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it just for you, John. I, I, I really believe I this. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can, you can come to me and be like, you know, he's kind of a veteran. There's probably a ceiling. I'm just like, Hokuto Fuji, you show. That's right. I don't care. That's the answer to any the, doubt. Yeah, for now, like he needs, he needs like a good six to nine to shut me up at this point. <laughs> so I, I have to say to. Um, there was a video this morning from Chris about silly moments in the tour. And there was one where Hokuto Fuji was carrying his son on his shoulder. And oh, he's like a little toddler. I've not seen that. I got My it. goodness. Is his son the cutest? Oh. So he like rose in my admiration of him because he was in the sumo circle with all his buddies and putting his son and bouncing That's him so up. Cute. I'm like, oh, I love it. I just love sumo kids. So Hokuto Fuji Yusho. Hokuto Fuji Yusho. That's where we'll end with that. May say, as you were saying, sort of a pairing to him, mm-hmm. up from Magashira 3 West to Magashira 1 West, 8 and 7. There's a lot going on with May say. There's a lot. It's, it's, he's such a complicated figure at this moment. He's got it. He's, he's constantly coming back from injury. He's constantly coming back from, not injury like Takakesho injury, but like injuries that slow him down enough, enough. because he's already always the underdog fighting against everything that just the slightest tweak in an ankle. Mm-hmm. And now he's got another obstacle to climb. So an X factor for him is that he is a stable mate of Hoshoryu. So he can feed off of that energy. And part of me wonders how much of Meisei's increase in the ranks is possibly due to that. Mm. Um, sort of a sort of a Takakesho Takanosho synergy going on, or the Waka Brothers. Mm-hmm. That's that's always something we like talking about, and I'm looking at that because like for for Mace, like it's just it's like his skill. Yeah, he's got the skill. He's got the competition. So like everything is X factors for him. It's all the little things like you were mentioning, the little tweaks, the little things, you know. So can you know can he get the footwork it's just a little better? You know, is he gonna be just just a little not injured? You know, you know, maybe you know, maybe he has like a really good breakfast. Like I feel like right. that's what it comes down to. To Macy, it is so, so on the knife's edge for whether he does better or worse. Catches the right train, you know. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe there's a you know maybe he gets a fly in his face on the way to the bus. It's just oh, there he is. My it's country. over. Just one little thing. A butterfly flaps his wings somewhere in Europe. <laughs> that's what we're down to. And then his like hair falls slightly, and then he loses the match. Loses the concentration. Yeah. So. He's just always going to be the guy in the knife's edge. Nothing's going to change yeah. that. Yeah, he. It, it would. You would really need. He would really need to sort of flip the script. He would need to do something ridiculous. Just blow everything out, and everybody's just like, "Whoa!" That is what it's going to take it, at this it, point. It is either that, or it is going to be the. He, you know, 
he woke up he had a cramp in his foot and now he's seven and eight <laughs> right <laughs> or like some massively good luck for a tournament or so yeah but the problem with luck is it never lasts so well, well, he'd be right back on the knife's edge even if he had like an amazing tournament yeah well maybe, maybe he gets a freebie yeah you know gets get a couple of fushen shows get, which uh, yeah very possible yeah, daisho slips for him yeah. Uh, the, 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 again, all the X factors. He he is he is the X man. <laughs> but we we won't expect to see all the uh, slipping and sliding in July. No. It'll be nice to be rid of that. I prefer to have straight up sumo without all the uh, hijinks. Yeah. This, this is yeah. The, the September tournament's very much like this is like the formal affair. <laughs> this is probably why it's sold out. They're like, okay, we don't want to think about July anymore. <laughs> and maybe that's why half the roster is like seriously injured. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Here comes the pure sumo. <laughs> yeah, let's get some pure sumo in there. Unless you're talking about Abi, he's sure two east down from Komusubi one west gets knocked out of Sanyaku. He's struggling, but he's on the knife's edge in a different way. He's on the knife's edge in terms of one good performance, and then he could go on a tear. Or, already back, yeah. It, 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 he is in this weird spot that, like, if you look at the long term, you're just like he has these consistent struggles with the pressure, with that finding that extra gear. And so you're like, he's in and out of, he's in and out of Sanyaku. He's up and down in the ranks. Yeah. But then like, then he has, he always has that potential to just unlock something. And then he's 11 and four with a special prize. And then you're, and then you're rethinking all of it. You're just like, has he figured it out? Right. You're <laughs> always asking like, is this the is moment? Is this it? Has, you know, is this finally the obby we've been waiting for? And you don't, <laughs> you, you don't know. Right. Like, I, yeah. This is, this is not like the Mitakeumi thing that you almost start doubting yourself it's it's the other way it's the other way you're just sort of just like it really is you're expecting him to break out at some point yes you're expecting that moment he's very much a momentum guy i mean if you think about it him coming back to the upper ranks after at least a year maybe it was two of being tooling around down at the bottom it just gave him such a fresh like injection reinvigorated him it's like he constantly needs something crazy to happen to get back to form so I don't know what that's going to be in terms of like, don't get suspended again. That's kind of a really bad that's way a bad to do one. it. But he needs something to happen to get him fired up again. And, you know, that's something he's got to learn to internally he's, he's, yeah. do for himself. He's got to figure out that fire. Yeah. It's almost like, what are you bored or something, man? <laughs> like, what is, why does this keep happening? Like, that's why you have to do these crazy hankas and like knee people in the face on accident. So we'll see, Abby, as we always will see. Next, we have Asanoyama, Magashir 2 West, up for Magashir 4 East, 8, 4, and 3. So this this whole story has a potential to be a tragedy. It really does. He was doing his thing. He's been doing his thing for two years, climbing the way he should climb. He finally gets within distance to where, okay, we can make a run, tears a bicep, then all of a sudden comes back and wins, which never happens. No. Injured guys always come back lose every match and then you're like why did they even bother Asanayama actually showed some serious character serious drive I was real hyped on him and now he has an injured toe that sounds like is quite problematic it sounds like he'll be fighting with it whether or not oh he'll he should fight be. he'll fight which on one hand mm. you know if you're able to fight with a torn bicep maybe you can work your way around the toe but but now you have both. You have like one, you can't move as well, and then you can't grip as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, he is, there is a a bit of a setup for failure going on. Um, yeah. I am hoping, you know, that he can work his way around it. That he, like, he does, like, I would agree with you, like, that, that, that spirit we saw out of him was something we had not seen in him when he was Ozeki. So, not at so all. I feel like it feels like something's changed. We we might be getting some character building here with mm -hmm. this. Not that I like the idea of guys fighting injured. I'm not like promoting that. But if he's trying to gut this out and fight through the pain and, you know, it shows how much he cares to get back to where he was. And that's kind of, you need so much guts and so much like bravery to go in the ring and fight and get destroyed all the time and then just keep going no matter what happens. Just to reach Ozeki. Just to gets to get back. It it's just it's it's a tall order now, but hey, if he can do it, he's gonna have quite the comeback story. It's yeah, I'm rooting for him. Hopefully, like if nothing else, hopefully he's able to do a Kachikoshi. Eight nine wins. 
at least keep going the correct direction. Right, and then maybe have some time because a toe a toe does take a long time to heal, but it heals usually. Yes. Unlike certain other things where it's like you need a surgery to heal. Yeah. So the idea is either he'll do really well or at least he'll be able to tread water and then November will he'll be just the time. Come back and be a beast at the end. Hopefully. That's the hope. Yeah, so very unfortunate news for him, but we will stay positive and hope that he can fight through and and just keep going higher. Okay, now we have Shodai. Micashir 3 East, down for Micashir 2 East, 6 and 9. Casual Shodai's back. He is who he is. Yep, at this, yeah, at, at this point it almost feels like he's at his happily ever after. He's yeah. just like, I was with Zeki for a while now. I'm just going to sort of hang out and have fun. This is like the epilogue. The epilogue. Not, it's, it's not a bad thing. No, you know? I mean, not everybody has to be, you know, the top guy. Somebody has to be the guy who fights the top yeah. guys. Yeah. So for rankings, there's going to be a lot of people who are like super promoted and a lot of people who got a six in mind and only like went down one rung like this. Yeah. And because the Bonzo kid was very like anybody in the middle just had a bad time. That's yeah, really actually, good. anybody who did guess the Bonzuke when you're listening to this, like, put your results in the chat because I'm fascinated to see if anybody, like, figured this mess out. Yeah, uh, I did poorly again. But, like, <laughs> the thing is that, like, I do, I've been doing less badly, but still, like, 4 and 11. <laughs> you're improving. I'm improving. Your may improving. say level improving. Sort of, just a little, little bit, a little bit. Um, but, yeah, the... <sighs> It's like, it's like, I don't know if I have expectations for him anymore. It's just like, I, it's, it's, more, it's sort of like, I still want him to do well. Like, I want I want the anti-physics engine to come back. I want him to just sort of just almost casually beat people. It almost looked like he didn't really know what he did. <laughs> it's just like, I'd like that back, but not badly? I don't know how this is. Am I giving up on him? I don't want to. <laughs> I think you're sort of giving up on him, but at the same time, you're just acknowledging that it's good to see him there. It's good to see him there, yeah. he's He's not, well, he's not in a complete tailspin no he's maintaining he's maintaining and on where he is now he's going to be fighting a lot of the same people he's he, that he just won he's just one rung down so he's going to be he's he's getting killer's row again right i think he showed i at this point in his career is probably just content like i'm just going to show up every day and do my best, up, do and, best. Yeah. and i don't want the attention or the pressure yeah um, yeah, and he, he can he can play foil, you know, put some dirt on Hoshiro, make him upset, and then uh... yeah, win win some. You can win special prizes down there, or yeah, yeah, he can still win special yeah. prizes. He could potentially win a U show. There's ways to get money. Uh-huh. There's ways to get like not the complete spotlight, but a little bit of spotlight for a day. And I think that's just what he likes. And hey, good for him. Yeah, that's that's all you can say yeah. about Shona. Not, yeah, and keep keep enjoying it. I stressed stressed was like he showed up. It was so depressing. Yeah, it was. T- it, it was, was too a bad much. scene. He didn't like it. We didn't like now, it. Let's just this, leave this it is as it now. is. <laughs> We're relaxed. Next, we have Tamawashi Magashira three west up from seven west eight and seven. So he's a potential watch list candidate. He he's definitely like the immortality is starting to starting like starting to wear off. You're seeing some cracks. Yeah. H- him, it's similar to to, to Kota Nawaka in that like he's got. Akachi Koshi, he he moved up four ranks on an eight and seven, so like on on paper you're just like oh yeah he's rebounding, but it's just the way he won in July, which was not with his power. He was At, taking advantage of some of the slips. In yes. Fact. So veteran Wiles, and again he did, the belt stuff was fun to watch because it was so surprising. Yeah, you're like, what is Tom Wachi doing? Yeah. But like it, but the problem is like his power that that sheer Tachi I force and the the. The, the neck breaking Notawa, like that's what allowed him to compete this high up. Right. If he tries to do belt stuff on Kirishima, he's going to lose. He's going to lose. He, he, a lot of the plan B stuff, the veteran wiles. So these people up here, they're too good for it. Right. It's only, he's only going to have success for a little while playing games. Yeah. And then eventually he'll be down in the so, bottom playing so, Jurio. So the watch list has to do with, he needs to get that power back. He needs to get back to his brand of sumo. In order to, if you're this high up, you've got to have that A game. I'm, I would, like, I would, if, you know, if he does a Yorikiri on Hoshiro, I am not going to complain. I am going to just jump out of my seat and start cheering. I hey, don't know. You never know. I mean, if anybody could change their style of sumo at 38 years old, it would be him. It would be him. Yeah. 
and he, he's a smart guy. He's smart. He's got the bag of tricks, and I just I'm I'm a little I'm a little worried for him. I'm a little concerned. Yeah, the elixir of life is wearing off, <laughs> and I'm remembering. I'm remembering from last tournament that like he was the one getting knocked into the stands and stuff like that. And a part of part of his immortality was that he was never really injured. That he was always kept in good shape, stayed in the ring. If you beat him, it was just going to be clean. It, it was going to be a clean. He's win. not falling out. Yeah. So seeing him sort of getting thrown around like that, I'm like, you're not Ura, man. You're not. You're not. You're not going to bounce back like yeah. Gumby. <laughs> you're not Gumby. You're not Stretch Armstrong. I'm just a little. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little worried for him. I don't know. Maybe I'm being overprotective. I'm being a little bit of a helicopter fan here. I got to let him go. I don't know. I got to let him go. <laughs> yeah, this, this might be like uh, something we revisit. In the, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see how the tournament goes. Yeah, I'm a little, a little cautious. Hope, again, hope, hoping for him making people the letter C by pressing on their neck. I hope that comes back because then at least he'll be able to, I feel like, really, really impose. I do think... Being away from the slippery sand of July will help that. A little bit. If you're a power guy and you're worried about falling, you're not going to put as much of your power out. A bit of optimism here. We, we, there's, there's, there's room to be happy. There I is think. room to be happy, so we're going to do it. Yes. So next we have Takenosho, Migashira 4 East, up for Migashira 9 East, 8 and 7. So it seems like Takenosho that's, might be back. That second week in July felt like he came back. I was so happy. Particularly like we were just talking about. Yeah. Everybody's worried about slipping and not completely outputting their power. And here's Takenosho going for broke. Going for broke. The power, the accuracy, like the Sekiwake level stuff was coming back. Out of nowhere. It's second week. Like the first week it was. Eh. And then he gets an eight and seven. And they just threw him up. Again, like these, there was that gulf of Makakoshi in the middle that they're just like, well, you did well. You know, there's only like eight people <laughs> that can go up there. So here you go. Have and fun. So I look at this as very good news for Taka No Show because now he gets to prove his medal against the real people. And if he really has come back, if he did figure it out, he's not going to have any trouble here. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. This he should shouldn't. be an easy rank for him if he's back. It should be. And so I am, I am very, very like this is, this is a lot of like, like 50% optimism, 50% praying to the sumo gods mm. that he's back and that he's not going to have, he, because if he, if he, if he just slips on the, the lever and it goes back to struggle, Taka no show, he's going to stay there. He's, he's going to fall. Yeah. I think day one is crucial for him. I really do. I think he the needs first... to come out strong and win that first day and just get his confidence. Yeah. Well, at four East, he's probably going to, he's that murderer's row going to hit him pretty early. So that's true. Um, he's going to get, yeah. No, he's yeah. not going to get Taro Fuji on day one or something. Uh, well, it's, well, well, we don't even know if, if he's he, going to be there. Yeah. So. If, he, if he, the opening few days, I would say by the end of first week, like we'll get a real feel on it. Now worth noting, it was the second week Takanosha that he woke up. So maybe he's going to be sort of a, um, a week two sort of needs time to get spinning up. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, we we'll really just don't know because we don't know what's going on I with need, him. Uh, I need more. I need yeah. more data. Yes, more data to make an accurate uh, analysis of this man. Next, we have Ura, Magashir for West, maintains the same rank with a seven and eight. Okay, so he can grapple. He's got power. He's a trickster. He's got to do everything. Just to stay where he's at. I don't even know if, yeah. if everything he does is enough to go higher, but to maintain rank, he has to do everything. Yeah. I, I feel like because, because everybody's fighting him differently, like he had like it's his, he has a different game going on than everyone else. He does, um, but it feels like he's evolving it by just he's making that bag of tricks like even deeper. Like he he's there were there were multiple times that he would like he would change his complete strategy in mid fight. Like he'd be doing belt stuff and they just transition to pushing out or he'd be doing crazy tricks and stuff like that. And then he goes for the belt. So like he is like he is doing this, like changing what he's throwing in a rock, paper, scissors in mid match. <laughs> yeah, he's he's adapting in the match and just saying, OK, this is what I'm going to do. It's almost like he's reactive to yes, and that's his like, opponent. It's kind of like what he has to do in this weird arms race that he's in. Um, like if he if he gets that refined I feel like he can do more than hold his own. Like, it looks yeah. like he's evolving the game. Not sort him and him and Toby Zaro are sort of in a in that similar mold. But what Toby Zaro did is that he he sort of just like he rose above the need to do it. Right. He and can actually just do regular so, type sumo. So, yeah, 
Tobizawa is just like, I'm just going to fight straight and fight fierce. And what Ura is doing instead is refining that weird dance yeah. to a science, which is it's becoming fascinating to watch. I do think Ura, if he did straight up sumo, could win matches. But the truth is you have to take into consideration personality. It's- Ura is who he is. Yeah, there's personality. There's also he is fighting with those knees. So Yes, it, of course. I, and it, it, like you said, it's still Ura. It's still pink belted fun man. Yeah, like he when he retires, his interviews are going to be wild because he's just <laughs> going to say everything that he thinks, you know, but Ura must train quite a lot to be that flexible. I mean, the fact that he could just get literally like thrown around and he bends into a pretzel and he stands back up and he's not injured. Yeah. That's wild to me. Yeah. And he's going to, there's, there's a lot of movement going on around him. There's going to be some matches he's going to have that are new and interesting. And I people feel who like haven't seen him as who much, haven't seen him. People who aren't aware of this weird game going on. And it throws, it throws the new guys off their game so bad. So, that I feel like that will be the deciding factor. That we'll have the same same matches that we love. Like we're gonna have you know have Toby Zara. We're gonna have Hoshario. We're gonna have Takake Show. We're gonna have all that. And now we're gonna have some of these new people, either new to everybody or haven't been up this far in a little while. Right. And that's gonna well, that's gonna be where is he gonna be a seven and eight? Is he gonna be an eight seven? Yeah. Nine and six. That's that's gonna tell. Us. Nothing's really gonna change with Ura in that respect. Mm-hmm. I don't think, but. Hey, maintaining rank, Yeah, that's a good goal. It's already off to a good start. Yes. So next we have one of the new guys, Gonoyama, Maegashira 5 East, up from Maegashira 13 East. So you've got this huge promotion here. Huge. You got a 10 and 5. So, you know, somewhat justified, but it's a little bit bigger than... It's a jump. It's a yeah. jump. This is, they did this for, to be fair, they've been, it's a trend. Uh, Kim Bozan got a big bump. Yep. Um, didn't go so well for him. Did not go. Hokuseho got a big bump. Also did not go so well for him um, for different reasons and with different implications. Mm-hmm. So here comes Goniyama's big bump. Now for him, it's going to be like a lot of what he did was this really awesome power sumo and pressure and control and lower on down. That's all well and good. Yeah. Uh, good news for you. Konoyama versus Takake Show. Oh my <laughs> lord! Because he, he had mentioned that Takake Show was one of his idols. Yes, that would be okay. So there's a couple of things that need to happen for this to be the greatest of all time. Takake Show has to be in decent shape decent when he shape. fights him. If he's injured, that's going to be a bummer. Yeah. If he's in decent shape, I would love to see the two of them go at it. Oh. So bad. It's not on the same level, but it does remind me when I was like thinking about it in my head about all these matches of when Ono Show fought Hakuho. Yeah, it's that same level of here is stars your- in your eyes. Exactly. It's the it's the this is your idol, the person you've looked up to, and now you've got to fight him. Uh huh. And that is like now you can probably relate to that a little more yourself, but the, it is that weird mix of like you're starstruck and also you're hyped up. Yes, um, I can say. And it's it's a little silly, but it's the truth. You know, I'm I'm down in the white belt section. Every once in a while, they'll let you spar with a black belt, and I get so hyped. On one hand, I know I am so outmatched. Like if this person wanted to turn it up, I'm done. On the other hand, I'm so hyped because I'm like, I just want to see what I can do. Like, do I have enough skills to at least like hang in there? You know, I know they're going easy on you, but still. I, I just understand this so well. So you have, and you have nerves too. You're like butterflies in your stomach. Like, okay, if they throw a roundhouse to the head, I'm not going to be able to block fast enough. But I can see, like, I can understand when Gonoyama fights Takakesho. Like, there's there's just energy. We'll just say that. it's There's nervousness. There's excitement. It's just pure, raw energy. And then in a second, it's over. It's over. Just. And you have all these moments to contemplate, like, could I have just done it uh, a little differently? Could I just... Yeah. I wasn't ever going to win that fight, but I would have liked to have looked yeah. a little better. Yeah, or maybe you just get completely creamed and you just walk away. You're just like, that was awesome. That was so cool. Yeah. You're, you're not walking straight. Like, you get blood out of your nose. You're just like, I did it. Did you guys see? Well, you know, actually, I love sparring a lot. And when I'm sparring, if somebody gets a good hit on me, 
I usually smile about it. <laughs> I'm usually because we don't do full contact. At least I don't. I'm not in any level to do that. But they don't make me do full contact. But here I am sparring and like I'm all about I'm all about like this is a real fight. And when somebody gets a good hit on me, it's just it's good. It's like <laughs> I'll, I'll literally look at him and smile like, oh, you got me. You got me. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> Something wrong with me. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. So maybe you should have picked up sumo. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Sometimes I do Shiko in the back. Like when everybody's warming up, I'm the only one doing Shiko. And they sometimes people look at me like, what is she doing? They don't say it. But I imagine as they're watching me, what is she doing? <laughs> but whatever. I'm just a fangirl. What can you do? Anyway, that's a long tangent. Good luck, Onoyama. I actually... I've got this weird optimism for him. He's Reality tells me he's going to get smacked down like every other guy. Mm. But I get this optimism that he's actually going to kill it this tournament. I, f- I feel like... I'm calling like... 11 and 4, man. Ooh, ooh, I don't I, know why I feel I, this way. I'm going to get embarrassed, but I feel okay, some okay. super Gonoyama vibes real, right now. Real t- feels the heat, turns it up a notch. Yeah. I, see it. Like, I feel I feel of the recent crop, he's got a pretty good chance to at least not get like a 4 and 11. Yeah, I mean, he's a strong guy, and if he's watching Taki Keisho, and he, you got to be really watching Taki Keisho, not just fanboying. He's going to learn, like, what it takes. Yes. I hope he's been training really hard on on the power. Because, like you he's said. He's going to need it. He's going to need he's it. He's going to need it. He might have a good first week and then a bad second week. But I don't know. I want to call this 11 and 4. And if I'm embarrassed, whatever. Okay. I'm always embarrassed. Okay. Next, we have Shonana Umi, Megashir 5 West, up from 14 West, 10 and 5. Another giant leap up. Big jump. Um... Like you were saying with Konoyama, now he has to evolve really, really quick. Really fast. So, I again, I love the the thematic pairings, but they put Konoyama and Shonano Umi both on the same Mega Shira 5 rung. Yep. And they both have the exact same problem, which is you were, you know, you're still still at the bottom of the top division sumo, which is an enormous amount of pressure. Everybody can just talk to Oho about that. Uh, but now, all of a sudden, you, you're just going to start fighting the best of the best. And we're going to see exactly what you're made out of because it's very likely going to be spilled all over the floor. Um, so I'm almost looking at both of these because they they're, they have different brands of sumo. Yes, and completely I, so, different. It's completely different. So I, I would I want them both to succeed. I don't know. Is this a really battle different. of the brands? Well, this is, it's literally what this is. This is what's so exciting. Yeah. And that you know we're, we we are having we are having our our battle of the brands in front of us, and yeah. so at the end of the tournament we're going to sort of look at both of them and be like, okay, they they had different strategies about which effectively the same the same rank the same, same situation yeah everything's the same except one guy is a big power guy and the other guy is a big technique guy. How does it work out? Oh, this is that whole genius versus hard worker thing and all little, over again a little bit of that too i, I love actually battle of the brands i feel like that's the that's what we're doing that is spot on what i was thinking when i saw these two together and that's gonna be a fun little side it's, story it's, it, is, it is a side it, it is the perfect b plot mm-hmm. to this to this because you know may, maybe they both do badly maybe they both do exactly the same or maybe one person Heads it, and the other person struggles a little bit, and we'll be like, oh, look at "We that. have all this analyzing we get yeah, to do." Yeah, oh, we'll be, I'll be breaking this down. Look <laughs> at the landscape; very, very fun. And again, second tournament. Yeah, second tournament. They're they're on five. It is very exciting. Very exciting, and I can't wait. It's it, it's it, it's like there is no wrong answer either. Like they well. I'm not going to put the curse on them. They could do badly. They could both do badly. It'll be like, well, look what happened. Look or what it could be here. like he did slightly worse than him. Uh, no, yeah, that's, oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I can't. I'm... It's a preview for the recap show. <laughs> <laughs> John will be going over this. Oh, yes. Next, we have on Osho, Mike Shira East, uh, 6 East, down for Mike Shira 5 West, 6 and 9. So now he's got knee problems, which, ah, what a shame. Because on Osho had stayed healthy for so long. So long. And, you know, he just seemed like he kept doing his thing, doing his thing. And eventually he was going to get there. And now yeah, you I, throw this injury in. It's like, ugh. I feel like they see the potential that I'm seeing in on our show, the way he was fighting. He had half a rung down on a six and nine. Yeah. That's 
that is that that's is some a, confidence that is confidence him. like i i'm honestly thinking oh no show 100 percent good knees good everything dark horse going for the U show like he, that's where i feel like he is right now like looking at where he is mm-hmm. he's got enough what i'll call solid potentials for wins then he gets a couple of upsets that's a 12 and 3 yeah that's a 12 and 3 i'm i'm uh I may have my bets on him later. Wow. I'm, there is, there is a feel, Now, again, on day one, he shows up with mummified knees, and he can't move forward. The, the, it all goes out the window. It all goes out the window, but historically, our bets have been cursed. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. They're so cursed. They're so cursed. So there's only so much we can do. Um, but, yeah, I, I think he's starting to figure it out. I think it's almost there. Okay. Well, we are going to have to see. Okay, next we have Rudin, Magashira 6 West, up from Magashira 15 East. Another 10 and 5 guy getting risen in the ranks, but he's not a new guy by any means. So for him, this is just maybe course correction. A little a little bit of it worked out for him this time. Um so for Rudin it's going to be interesting. I I looked I looked up like he got all the way up to like three and his surge before he got knocked down and mm-hmm. then when he got knocked down he had these weird like consistency issues the jockey didn't come back the thankfully. jockey didn't, no thank goodness <laughs> um and so the last time he was at six west he did a nine and six but that was part of his surge upwards now it's just now it is a getting maybe not over promoted but like everybody else he gets the huge leap and I think he would leap back to about where his skill level is. Though right. he was, he did have some power issues going on. Yeah, I mean, Rudin's been kind of a mess for a while now. And, and maybe he's always been that way, but he was able to, when he was younger, he was able to be a little bit more consistent about it. <clears throat> but it seems like if all goes well, he should be able to just like start to maintain at this point. Maybe not go higher, maintain, but maintain. Of, I feel like maintain, if nothing else, is a goal for him. That should be the goal, anyway. That should anyway. be the goal. Um, and we'll see where thing, things go from here. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm optimistic, but at the same time, you did have a little bit of a struggle going on. So, eh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. He, he's one of those, like, really, like, it's hard to say what's going on. Very hard to say. It could be mental, it could be physical. I don't think it's physical. I think it's mental. I think there's like stuff going bit, on in yeah. his head. But he's he's still, still the veteran status, so. Yeah, the yeah. veteran status will carry you through. It carry you through, yeah. You can always fall back on the veteran wild. Which would bring us to Takeyasu, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Veteran. He feels like he's been a veteran forever. Um, and he's not quite veteran veteran, but. Mike is 70, so he's maintained it at a 7 and 8. Okay, so he's real beat up. He, he's, uh, yeah, he's... <laughs> he's got a lot of physical problems. That's what's hurting him. He's been through a lot of mentally and emotionally draining tournaments where he should have won, didn't win, comes back. That zaps your energy. <sighs> it's hard to say. Basically, we're going to play this game with Takakesh- or Takayasu where he's just going to keep doing his thing until he just completely burns out. Either his body falls apart or he loses his desire for sumo because you just never know what Takayasu you're going to get. I, <clears throat> for me, it is come what may, week two will tell us how he's doing because week two is always where things happen. Like when he's doing well, the pressure gets to him. Uh, last tournament, like week one, Takayasu was basically an Ozeki, and then it just all falls apart. So starting on day eight, I'm going to keep a close eye on Takayasu. I'm going to see how he's going. I am not going to be too optimistic. Mm. Um, but also, like, it's a trend. Like, if he's five and two, six and one going into the second week, then he'll, he'll probably be okay. Because yeah. if he crumbles again, at least he'll be able to have a good record. Have a good record. But if he's already struggling in the first week, then in week two, it'll be interesting because he'll know he'll need to turn it up. And then what happens? With and that? then what happens? Once he gets four losses, if he gets four losses, then it's, yeah, it's going to be rough. Yeah, but I'll be interested to see how it goes with the injuries, everything going on. 
that's so week two Takayasu. I wanna I wanna see it. I want I want eyes on what he does. He is definitely someone who just wants to put July behind him because that slippery sand Ugh. was affecting him more than most. P- possibly the worst Henko we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something. <laughs> so, so. Don't ever do it again. Oh, it's just well, that's, not. That's the state he was in. I know. That, that tells was, you how desperate he was. That tells you what was going on with him. So let's put all that behind us. Yes. And then, yeah, let's see what day eight Takayasu can do for us. Yes. Hopefully day eight Takayasu is at least like seven and one. That would be nice. That'd be nice. Okay. Next we have Oho. Maegashira seven west. Down from six west. Six and nine. Another like not too bad demotion. Yes. Now, <sighs> Oho has got the constant struggle going on. But he was a little bit better than... There were moments where he's shown a little bit more brilliant than in other times with losing records. I, yeah, uh, I feel like July was the most consistent Oho we had seen. I think the most I, consistent I losing record. I think that record. was exactly what I said before. Yes, and yes. And like, it was a 6-9, and nine, and I was like, no, 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 guys, this is really good. Because typically when he does badly, it's because he's all over the place. And this time he just did badly because he was outfought. Well, even the way they did the rankings kind of shows you they felt the same way. A little bit. And again, they're, they're being... With one interesting exception, they're being very... A lot of the people who have Makikoshi up here, they're being very generous with them. They're pushing him down a little bit. Just one rank. This Try, trying to give him some, you know, well, yeah. encouragement. So he gets another chance. And for Oho, it is very much a... He's got to figure this out. It's all in his head. Part of me is curious, actually, because now we have Shonan Omi and Gonoyama just leapfrogging him. Yeah. Up he goes. And, the, and well, if Hako Oho does well again, if he fights, that's another thing. He's 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 shooting right past. Right, him. like all the young guys are shooting They're past, shooting past Oho. Uh So in a if part of me wonders, like, would that fire him up, or is he just so like in his own battles that he's not even going to notice? I kind of think it's that. I'm, I'm. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm curious if there's any sort of a because also part of me wonders, like, if he can tap into that rivalry energy, like, which you know, everybody seems to need. Yeah. So like, it can can he now? That was for a, a little while Hoshoryu, which is hilarious. Because he was that Hoshoryu slayer when he had that that, that ten win run, uh, but then the last time he fought Hoshoryu, Hoshoryu was absolutely certain that was not going to happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which if Oho had beaten him a second time, I would have been like, ooh. But he didn't. It's yeah. Out. Back to even Steven. Um, worth noting that at seven, if he starts doing well, they'll they'll make that matchup happen again. Oh yeah. So, which would be great for everyone. So this is. An opportunity for Oho to prove himself or for us to continue speculating on what he needs. <laughs> yeah, and he's still young, when but he young, won't be young forever. 23? He's, he's, got, he's got years. Yeah, Get it. so he's got time to figure it out. So figure it out. <laughs> Koto Echo, Magashira 8 East, up for Magashira 11 East, 8 and 7. So he's sort of, he's inching. Inching, inching, like crawling crawling up mount fuji on his hands and knees and he's representing the tiny man sumo so this is this 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 caught me off guard a little bit because now for the first time in a while midori fuji is below him he is the highest ranked small man sumo and that i don't know if that's ever happened i well but when, when midori fuji was jurio and then when he got the hernia issue uh, right right you know, but like i almost don't count that time yeah so like since since midori fuji like proved who he was He's always been higher up, and then Koto Echo has been struggling in the eight to sixteens. Mm-hmm. Um, so in a way, it's sort of like Koto Echo sort of like was handed the mantle of the highest ranked small man sumo. Mm-hmm. And now part of me is wondering, okay, what are you going to do with this? Oh, 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 king of small sumo! Right, you have to represent him. <laughs> I mean. know there, there's a there's a weird expectation that I don't even know he is even looking at. Probably not, um, but you never know. But like, I feel like if he does really well, like this is his chance to say. Again, it's sort of like the, the, the inching of progress. So small that sometimes it doesn't seem perceptible. But I feel like we're starting to see something come together. The truth is those inches matter. It's starting Because to... that's where the, the switch flips happen, right? Yeah. You don't see all the little work, the little work, the little work. That just all of a sudden there's a big moment that happens because all everything aligns. Everything else. It's yeah. like putting a puzzle yeah. together. Yeah. Now... There's nothing stopping him from getting lost in the metaphorical forest again. Of course. And unfortunately, I'm not. I don't want to put the hex on him. I'm not going to put the hex on him. I'm just. I'm just saying. We would have put a lot of hexes on people today with our optimism. I hope um, not. 
or there's a little bit of optimism in the air. We, 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 I think we all want this to do. We want good news. We want good news. We want good news. So Kotoeko is in an <laughs> opportunity to say, now this is what small man sumo looks like. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm, I want him to take that. I want a nine and six. Yes. I, I want, I want him to like, and also like, not like a nine and six where it's just like he ekes it by, but like the nine and six, like the Tochi notion reversal kind of wins mm-hmm. where it is just all spirit and technique and small man with big muscles and getting it done. Like it's, there's like, it's like, I feel like it's like, this is your time to shine. Speaking of which I will miss the Koto Echo Tochi notion battles. They were always oh, very fun. Legendary. <laughs> So next, we have another guy that you've been kind of on the hype train for, for I have been. a while. Yeah. You get Gonoyama, I get Hirado Umi. Yep, Hirado Umi, Magashir 8 West, down for Magashir 5 East, 5 and 10. So he got that injury. The last day. I don't know if he's been on the tour or not. I haven't heard anything about him. Now, that doesn't mean anything because he's not like a high-profile guy yeah. right now. But I haven't heard a single thing about him. Yeah, yeah. But, so the hope was... When he got that five east and then got slapped around a little bit, that like he would download mm-hmm. in that way. And then uh, anytime you have those kinds of losses and you're fighting people above your weight class, well, skill level, actually, weight class doesn't matter, uh, that you're just like, okay, now I, need, I know, now I know what I need to do. Now I'm getting better. Right. Is, is this his moment? Well, as long as he's not injured. Yes. I mean, the- you can really... You can really take a look at all of your matches and see what made you lose. And if you go back and say, okay, this match, my footwork was all over the place. I'm going to do 50 extra, you know, foot techniques, you know, whatever, whatever thing. That's the kind of stuff Hakuho would do. Even when Hakuho was winning, Hakuho would take a look and say, you know what? I need to train harder. And just doing those little things, even if they're really boring makes a huge difference and i could see that's sort of uh it seems like that's hira omi's style you know practice 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 the fundamentals but like i said those injuries uh, i think we would have heard something by now but i don't know yeah i think yeah optimistic um this is also again this is for him it's it's the longer road yes you know he's not shooting up it's, it's he's funny. gonna take his time he's gonna take his time with it which is not a bad thing because it does seem like every time we see him like the fire's still there and then it's just like he's getting a little better he's getting a little stronger and so this will this will be like the next the next the next uh walk in so like we have somebody like Kotono Waka which is like September is do or die for yeah. him it's not the case not uh, absolute opposite end of the spectrum he could just take his time and do, do yeah, his brand he does well he does poorly he's learning he's figuring it out we want him to do well but it's you know there's no, there's, there's not as high an expectation. Exactly. Next, we have Midori Fuji, who we've kind of talked about a little bit already. Magashira 9 East, down from Magashira 3 East, 4 and 11. So, love the red belt. Well, red belt sumo is great. He's going to need to really channel that red belt energy because he's in kind of a mess. And the question is, is it just that he's hit his ceiling as a small man? Like, that's what happened to Enho. Enho was fantastic, right? But he was too small. Everybody knew he was too small. And eventually, any little mistake he made, he would get punished, and then those injuries would pile, pile, pile. Midori Fuji has to be careful of that, that he doesn't get pummeled. So the question is, is his small size, has he hit what he can do? Well, one, one way or the other, he does need a reset. Now, the red belt did seem to be pretty good because that second week of midori fuji was awesome win or lose beautiful exceptional um but it was that first week oh my god oh my goodness he got pushed around it was it was it was rough so less of that no again like if if he pump day one he comes out with the red belt and it's a minute and a half of the best thing we've ever seen he's fine i hope he doesn't ditch the red belt (sighs) that happens all the time like they change belts and they're like yeah that didn't really work yeah it's like belts too stiff i don't like the feel of it i want the old one back it's like it's like but we i was channeling enho vibes it was so nice so good so we're gonna have to it it, well it's up to him at this point to make up lost ground yeah i I think he can i mean there is the larger problem of he does need to figure something out for that next gear and it could be that that next gear just isn't there for him right that's always the question with the small guys like can you do more or have you really this is just the unfairness of being a small guy yeah we're gonna in a big man sport yeah this far down for him 
I feel like he'll at least be able to rebound. Get it, yes. get it back together. And then it'll be November that we're going to start to ask these big questions of him. Right. Because it'll be the end of the year tournament, going into the new year, and that's always the whole craziness that goes on with that. So I would orig- uh, I originally was going to say, well, he's got a tall order with Haku Oho being his pair, 11 of 4. You know, he lived up to the hype. Mm. But I noticed for a very long time that taping on his shoulder, even when he was in Jurio, and I thought, are we just pretending here that there's <laughs> nothing going on? It's like his, that shoulder is pretty taped. And now we hear, of course, that he may need surgery and he may not be in the next tournament. And I like I want him to have that surgery. If he if he yes. needs it, I want him to have it. I like it's like fall back to jury. I don't care. There is no way in hell he's not getting back. Right. He's so young he's that so he good. technically should still be in the third division. He yeah. rose so quickly. You got your chance to show us all what you can do. Now get the shoulder fixed because yeah. you're still so young. I know the temptation is there because usually it's the youngest guys that become Yokozuna. And he's got Coach Miyagi No. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you want to follow in his footsteps. I am sure Miyagi No is telling him to get the surgery. I'm I almost positive. He's 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 too smart. They're both too smart. To, yeah. To, to try to, be, to try to just man mode through this. Because like if he he needs it like if he needs the surgery goodness gracious please take it you're still young you're still you're so young so like the surgery like he'll only be gone september he'll be back in november it should be yeah should be like, i mean he, the, who knows yeah. sometimes the surgery you think you'll be back in a tournament but it's like two maybe well even then even then yeah he's all right he's up back. to nine so if he is out this yeah. tournament He'll be, like, Depending on what happens, he might still be in the top division the next one. He'll be he'll be either on the bottom rung or he'll be like Jurio one two. In which case, then he's just he's gonna dip down. Yep. He's gonna get to Jurio show. Yep. <laughs> probably, and then he'll be he'll be back up to here, and so he'll he'll he he will delay it for three four months. Yeah. But keep in mind, like the legacy this guy is promising us. We don't want to lose it. Like, I don't, like, if you were to tell me he's going to be Yokozuna, but it's going to take him a year longer, I'm like, take two years. Yeah. Take two. We've we've waited a very long he's time gonna... for somebody as promising as him. Get up. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Be healthy. Yeah. So. Now, now maybe he shows up and he sort of hacks his way through it and he has a surgery after the tournament that that is a potential it's... if he shows up in september it means he's trying to get his rank high enough that the return won't be yeah or so long or it'll be like an eight and out sort of like what taro fuji did when he was on his way up and that he gets he gets he gets just enough wins to hold rank and then he just dips and so like you know like that that tuesday he gets Kachikoshi and Wednesday's the surgery. <laughs> I could see that. And I think, I mean, he's definitely playing coy with it. Like, yes. oh, you know, I kind of need a surgery. But, but, which means there is actually a plan and they're just not telling us. So, yeah, I could see that. But I think they're probably waiting to see what kind of shape he's in to even make that decision. Yeah. There's still a full week before the tournament starts. Actually, a little bit more than a full week yeah. based on when we're recording. Um. So it's touch and go, but I bet you they're making a plan like that. If if he comes in, it's literally just to try to keep his rank just in a decent spot. He's yeah, not, yeah, he's not going to be pushed up for anything because um, it would just but... be stupid. He's too young to like. Okay, let's just keep fighting to Yokozuna, and then my shoulder blows out, my career's over. It doesn't make any sense. It, it, ugh, I don't want that. No. Nobody, nobody wants that. No, especially not Miyagi. No, he no. wants to drop the O. He wants to drop the O. You know, he wants that O to go flying. So, I mean, he's probably, <laughs> Hakuoho is probably the best treated young guy in the history of Subo. I'll <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> so, good luck, Hakuoho. I don't know if we'll see you or not, but we're, we're playing long game future with you. And thank you for your great 11 and 4. Yeah. Because it made good. the tournament awesome. Oh, yeah. Next, we have Kim Bozan. Maegashir 10 East maintains that rank with a 7 and 8. He's a pretty tentative guy. Um, I do think his biggest concern is injuries. I've seen so many guys in interviews lately talking about, I don't want to get injured. I don't want to get injured. So it's almost like 
everybody's scared about this now because everybody's getting injured. And Kim Bozon, he's this nice young guy, but he's susceptible to the rumblings. And that tentativeness is what's hurting him. It's from a little bit. He's, he's, he's too cautious. Too cautious, yep. And now maybe some of it is still the nerves. Hmm. Some of it is he's still trying to get his feet out from under him. It's always it's always a different story, but it does. There are a couple times like you see Kim Bozan do well, and you're like, just keep doing that. Yeah, what are you so what worried are you so, about? What are you so afraid of? Throw the guy. Well, I think you know. Once again, we talk about the personalities. Perhaps he just in general is a more mm. cautious guy, or somebody who needs more time to absorb or adapt. And I think that's what we're seeing here. I mean, Kim Bozan. I don't know how long he's been doing sumo, but certainly, you know, he has a, he's bringing a different culture into this. You know, it's not just the Japanese sumo way. He's got whatever, you know, he was raised at originally. So he's, you know, he's, he's figuring it out. He's just figuring it out. Some people need that. They some need people the need the extra time. Some people need maybe some extra pats on the back, like I said, from yeah. the coach. Yeah. And so he was... He may have been energized by the tour. Talk to fans. Yeah, maybe he was having some fun. Some, were, fun. some guys well, were having fun. We'll see. We'll see how it ha- we'll see how it fares with him. Okay. Next we have Endo, Megashir Ten West, up from Megashir Sixteen East, ten and five. So Endo. Endo <laughs> is a man all over the place. He could be Yokozuna. And yet he's always tooling around in these sort of middle yeah, ranks. It is the it feels like these days it is more just what his body lets him do. Exactly. Um, so he is at that point, and I, and he's probably been at that point for longer than we realize. Perhaps um, at ten, I think he's still he's still got more than enough potential to to do well. Especially if you've got all these injuries and all these guys who might not show up. Endo could always be the guy who just... I mean, I feel like he is going to win a U show before his career is up. That Maybe I'm nice. wrong, but... That would be real nice. It would be. That would be one I would celebrate. That would be the shortest interview ever. <laughs> yeah, I know. He, they'd be like, so how do you feel? Good. They're good. Uh, on the how last did you day, win? My brand of sumo. What were you thinking on the final day? I don't think. I don't- <laughs> I love Endo. He's just so. He's but he's just, cheeky about it because you know he's thinking yeah, more stuff. He just doesn't want to say it. He's very. He's, he acts stoic, but he's. he's it's he's, almost he's, like he's his own PR yeah. firm. You know, he he's, knows he's like what smart. not to say. He's too smart for it. Exactly. I, I love it. But I'm. I am optimistic. At ten, he'll be fine, and he's he's not going to hit whatever ceiling he has until about seven or six. So that's typically where he would be. Start having eight, trouble. Seven, sevens and eights. So, hoping for more. Hoping he, like you said, he can sort of take advantage of a lot of the chaos with his technician mind. Yeah. If anybody can sort of exploit the weaknesses of this Bonzuke, it'll be him. So next, <laughs> speaking of which, me, Takiyumi, Maegashir 11 East down for Maegashir 2 West. So the, the decline is, is rapid. 3 and 12, even with his bad luck, Mitaki Yumi should at least be able to hang in here at little, this. Yeah, this is this guy is still the career Sekiwake turned Ozeki. So, like, it's that level. He was of, good enough for that. That level of sumo is still in there, despite all the, the, the bad things that have been happening to him over the last few years. So, it's just like it's like anything less than eight or nine wins. And this guy is just completely falling apart. Right. You almost wonder at some point, like, is he like, if that happens, is it like he's just given up on the joy of sumo? Like, it isn't worth it it to him anymore. That could be a potential future factor. That's 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 what a that's what a Makakoshi at eleven is going to tell us. I think right now Mitakiyumi really is in a something beyond sumo. Like when you when you go through the death of a father or any significant person in your life. There's a lot of reflection where you ask yourself, what do I really want? What's important to me? These sorts of things. So he's fighting in sumo, which has meant something to him for a very long time. But he also is fighting his own internal stuff. And the desire is a huge factor. So it's almost like I don't want to put any sort of analysis on his sumo 
in and of itself because there's just so much more that's going on. Add that to his injuries. Potential, his injuries. Potential long COVID. And, yeah. If he's if he's going to doctors every other week and we don't know this because they don't tell you. Yeah, he might be going to doctors every other week for lung function tests or whatever. There's just so much going on with this guy that you kind of... It's just beyond sumo, yep. and you kind of just have to see what happens. Yep. So it's just for for all of the all of these factors, a vast majority of which we do not have any insight on. Mm-hmm. It is all going to be distilled down to: Can he get eight wins? And does he want to? Does he? That's that's where it is. Like if I see him eight, like again, even an eight and seven at this point, is Matakuyumi saying, "Okay, whatever else is going on, at least I got this." Yeah. Exactly. And then anything less than that. Now seven and eight. Actually, you know what? No, no. Like seven and eight for him at this level. He didn't. He didn't want it. He didn't want it. He didn't yeah. want it. it. It is. And again, this is. Yeah. This is. This is completely divorced from the person himself. You know, this guy. It. I feel horrible if this is all this stuff just dumping on him. Um, I'm not going to take back any of the stuff that we said a few years ago. No, no, because no. that was before everything. No, that was deserved. Yep. So this this is a new this is a new like sort of like the darker chapter for Nataki Yumi. This is the darker chapter. We, yes. So like we what, we want what's best for him, and we don't know what that is. We don't know if he knows what that is. Right. But we're going to find out what that is. All together. All together as a group. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, regardless of the record, I do hope that he can find himself. Yes. You know there is a. He, these things they will they will change now for some people you know like you look at a sanayama like he just it just it just fueled it him fueled more, him more when it happened more, but like the way people handle this is such a deeply personal thing it is and yeah me takimi could decide you know what? i don't really care this much about sumo like there's something else i'd rather do or mm-hmm. i want more time with my family or what yeah. or maybe he yeah. could just it, it, you think yeah. about like in a more not so severe manner look at chio taidu yeah. I really want this restaurant. Yeah, he found. And something. the second I get the opportunity, I'm done with the sumo stuff. Yeah, yeah. Now there is also like there's the long shot that maybe Mitakiyumi he dips, he dips, he dips, and then like a year later, everything works itself out. Yeah, because the grieving process can take a long time. Take a long time. Also, again, like if he's got all these injuries and stuff like that, he's working around. Like that has to clear. The mental issues have to clear. You know, whatever issues are going on, just like on top of the normal pressure of being a sekitori. Right. So, well. Yeah, I mean, you, you make a good point. He, we always talk about the physical injuries in terms of like, you know, Terano Fuji goes all the way to the bottom and Ura and all them. Tochi Noshin. Mitaki Yumi could be one of those yeah. comeback so stories, too. So it's it is all it is all a mystery. Um, yeah. We're just going to get our first clue at the end of September. Yeah. We're, we're get little little pieces. Little pieces. Okay, next we have Hokuseho, Maegashira 11 West, down from 6 East, 5 and 10. So he needs to improve. And he needs more. Yeah, he needs more. That's a great he summary. Needs more. Like it, those are the three words. What is that more? Like we feel like it is more of a stop being so reliant on physicality. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if, you know, if, there's ever, if there's ever been a coach that can get the techniques out of him, he has that coach. But on the other hand, is that coach was stifling him because he he's living up to some sort of internal pressure. Like, my coach is the greatest of all time, and Haku Oho is like the yeah. greatest prodigy, and I stink. Like, what yeah. if that's happening? Yeah, he is still that weird, that weird younger child now. Yeah, like he he showed up and then he was the big shot and then just yanked out of the way. Get off the stage. Haku Oho is here. So there's there's all that is still going on. And this could be going on, and then it, it will be like the same thing as like Oho, who just a guy just needs time. Right. Some people need more need time, time than others. Yeah. Could still like him and Kim Bozon are still thematic because they came up at the same time, and they both they're both yep. they're both still trying to get their feet together. Now they're you know the why is a completely different story for both of them, but it's like the reality remains. Hokuseho looks like there's still something he needs before he can really live up to that potential. He's definitely got to get more comfortable with his size in comparison to other guys. Like maybe just more practice bouts at other stables. That would help. Because uh, how, how is he going to know how to engage with guys that are sh- way, shorter way shorter than him unless he just he fights can, a also, bunch of yeah, guys? Also, it's just like it's the evolution. If he can take like the the genius defensive techniques he has, if he can turn that into an, a weapon, yeah. if he can make that on the attack, mm-hmm. then it's like those are the kinds of things that are going to get him there. Yeah, 
It's one of those things. I think we just have to wait and let him simmer. It's, it, it's, he's a simmer. He's a simmer. Like him and him and uh, him and Hiro Omi are both. This is like September. Just let September happen, and we'll take a temperature check when we're done here. Exactly. Well, the recap will will be able to tell. We'll be able to get a hold on it. Yeah. Exactly. Next, we have Taka to Fuji, Migashir 12 East, up for Migashir 15 West, 9 and 6. Every time I think this is it for Taka to Fuji, <laughs> he pulls out a 9 and 6. Oh, God. I was just. It's, the, also, like, the way he got that 9 and 6. We're just yes. like, oh, he's back. Maybe not, like, maybe not long term, but he had that spark. He had that, nah, I'm, uh, I'm sticking around. Yeah, uh, he's, the desire is strong desire in him. Is strong. Now, this could be what I call Shodai syndrome. Which is like Shodai was Katoban and like four and seven and pulls the four wins out of his out of his backside in the final week. Mm-hmm. So like it could have been some of that going on in there, in which case then he will sort of take his foot off the gas now that he's not mm-hmm. imminently in danger. Right. Uh, it's like maybe he's conserving for when it's absolutely when necessary. It's, but like on the other hand, I kind of don't care. Right. Because <laughs> we got more Takara Fuji. Oh, yeah. I definitely want him to stick around as we long want, as possible. As long as he can. So. We should theoretically get him at this rank through the end of 2023. Yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that Takeda Fuji is hanging around. First of all, I, I think he really loves sumo. I really oh, do. Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys. Who's, it's the love of the game. But I think he has like three or four kids. So I think that he really needs that elder stock. Because mm-hmm. a lot of sumo guys, they forsake education. They forsake you know training in other professions. If they're not in sumo after sumo, like what are they gonna do? Yeah, they're 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 beat up high school grads. Some Be- of them aren't even high school grads. Exactly. Yeah, some of them are beat up like middle school grads. Yeah. I don't know Takada Fuji's story. I'd have to look into that more. It's- but he's got a family to provide for, and you know what else has he done? He's been in sumo a very yeah. long time. So uh, yeah, there's there's. All these things going on with the elder stock, buying elders out before they're even of the right age and politics and it's getting a little messy. You know, yeah, Terno Fuji that's... may not even get, you know, Issei Gahama. It sounds like he's not getting Issei Gahama. So I don't know. It's it's all a mess. It's, it's all its own thing. You can, I mean, there's there's articles and essays online that like deep dive this. It's like half hours, a lot of, yeah, a and lot you're like, of moving parts. Oh, I don't even want to know yeah. this. It um, hurts my yeah. head. It is, it is worth it, noting, though, that there are like um, Kiseno Sato got education in sports medicine. Mm-hmm. Daisho, he got his degree. Stint, got his degree. There are some sumo wrestlers that, and now these are also. These are the people who have made public their education. Right. Which is another thing. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of guys are very private about what they're doing, especially like when they become naturalized Japanese citizens. And you're like, oh, I find that out a day before he retires. Yeah. So, yeah, some of them are prepared, but some of them, you know, they really want to be working in sumo because that's what they've banked that's on. Their passion. Yeah. So, well, if nothing else. We get him for 15 more days, likely 30 more days, because I don't I don't see a scenario where he's going to be bumped out. By November. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Impossible. that. Impossible. Next, we have Sadano Umi, Megashir 12 West. An excellent pairing again. Again. Down for Megashir 8 East, 5 and 10. So he's back in a nice little veteran spot. Yep. His, uh, his, his dark horse stint seems to have come to an end, which upsets me. Replaced by Nishikigi, of y- course. You know what? You know what? That's a very good point. Yeah. Counter, counter argument. I still have my veteran dark horses. I like those a lot. Yeah, it was uh, just with, somebody else's time. Yeah, like with Tamawashi sort of faded by the wayside, so I put my bets on Sadano Umi. But you're right, you're right. It got Nishikigi. I was just, I was just on him about possibly making an Ozeki run. So I gotta, I got I gotta cut Sadano Umi some slack. So I guess this is like the positive podcast yes. right now. We're, we're, we gotta stay positive. And here's the thing: this far down, somebody who seemed like he was just sort of getting outpaced. Like it's not that, it's not that his technique was bad it's not that the power wasn't there it's just that he wasn't fast enough to make do on it well particularly because you know july's lower bonzuke was filled with the hot shots mm. now they've all gone up higher and now you have sort of like what a bottom of the bonzuke should look should like look like so sadanomi should be okay facing a lot of these guys should be yeah it shouldn't be like the murderer's row that it was in July. Yeah, so he should be, yeah, he should be in a good place, the veteran hole. I mean, if you look at, you got, you got Takar Fuji, you got Sadana Umi, you've got Miyogiri, you got Aoyama. They're all just 
all just hanging out in that same Kageyaki. Kageyaki. show. So it, this is this is the veteran hole. He should be fine in the veteran hole. He should be if things are yeah, so, just no, normal. If is, yeah. If this is if this is less normal and more like Okinomi, then then nah, yeah. So from here, if he gets another Makakoshi, I may have to put him on the watch list. I don't want to though. Don't make me do it, please. Yeah. September is just a wait and see. So wait, that's, for him it definitely is. We're gonna we're gonna hang out with him. So, speaking of wait and sees, Miyogiru, Maegashira 13 East, down from 10 West, 6 and 9. He's still with us. Um, it just seems like he's going to do the bounce up and down. He's been, yeah, he's been between like Megashira 8 and Megashira 13 for the last year or so. Like, he had that run, and ever since then, he's just been sort of bobbing. And so now that he's on the low on the bob, we should we should see an up on the bob as well. Yeah. And he's going to he's going to be as fun as he always is. Um I think he should be in range of some of these people that we're talking about that they need to put their stuff together, particularly Kinbozan Hokuseho. We're going to fight him Koto Echo. So this, he's going to he's going to be a good test for a bunch of individuals. School those youngins. Yeah. yeah and hey, like any Similar to Takara Fuji at this point, it looks like any Banzuke with Miyogiru on it is a good Banzuke. Yeah, exactly. And he doesn't want to be a veteran, so <laughs> can't even. If he starts to resurge, you're not allowed to call him a veteran not resurger. Anymore. Yeah, and if uh, I think if Tamawashi goes, he's the oldest. Yes, he's he's, he's right he's on the right on the wings. Yep, and Tamawashi, you know, he doesn't want to retire, so he doesn't want to. Yeah, both of them. That that's that's another B subplot. Who's gonna <laughs> retire first? Who's retire first. Wow, that would be a fun one. I'm going to put that in a poll. Which one of these guys retires next? And that we'll have to hopefully wait I, a while for the answer. I am looking forward to your, to your polls in September. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, always that last option is uh, quite <laughs> delightful. <laughs> next, we have Nishiki Fuji, Magashir 13 West, down from Magashir 8 East, 5 and 10. So, uh, you know, he's got the same issue that Midori Fuji has to some degree. Well, he's just... It's a it's a different spin. So Midori Fuji, I feel like, is just getting outmatched, outplayed. Um, but where Nishiki Fuji is just injured, he's a he's yeah. just a, he's a he's a snatched up mess. Well, he's the the final product of what could happen to Midori Fuji if he doesn't get it together. Yeah, basically, and like that knife's edge of being a small man, you will get punished. Yeah. So for like, so Nishiki Fuji really just needs to hold fast for mm. as long as it takes for his body to to clean up. As long as there's no like surgery required injuries. Well, we we yeah we would not know. Um, no. So like I will be looking at how he's winning to see how he's doing. If mm-hmm. he's doing some all small man turn of Fuji stuff, then he should be back in the mix. In which case, it's an upward trend. If we see another eight or nine slap downs, then he is still in survival mode. Right, and it may take him. Yeah, and I mean, he, if he's in survival mode, he definitely needs to like get a Kachikoshi. Get him, he needs to get higher so that if he does need to take some days off, mm-hmm. it's not a catastrophic disaster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At this rank, he really can't go Kujo to. He can't. Know. No, he's he's run out of buffer. So if yeah, if he needs that, if he needs that, uh, whatever to take a tournament off, it's not this one. Nope, he's got to fight for his life. So, good luck. Next, we have one of your guys who is on. Ugh. We we sent so many positive vibes. He got some. He received the it prayers. It worked. Aoyama, Magashira 14 East, up for Magashira 17 East, nine and six. You were you were a doubter on this one. I was I was I was getting my black outfits on for the funeral, but he but was, everybody he, just, he just yep. spirit bombed. Yep, we we get we passed him his energy, and he got a nine and six, and he did it mostly on his own. Yeah, he, he, he had, had some. He it, had his, some luck with the slipping. Yeah, him and Takara Fuji are definitely they're 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 in their pick their moments phase. Did you see the Sumo Primetime interview uh, with Aoyama? It was this morning, actually. No, I've not. I've not been on the. All right, I morning. won't spoil, but it was very very cool. Yeah, he, and he's, he's, he's a, making the suggestion that he is not ready to leave anytime soon. Beautiful. So the desire and the drive is there. There, there was no hint of like him trying to slow down, but there was some. He made some interesting comments about Tochi Noshin, and he's definitely the best one to say hello. <laughs> he doesn't hello; it's hello. <laughs> and sumo, sumo prime time. So yes, check out that interview. I think you will enjoy it. Oh 
I'm looking forward to that. That's two videos I got to watch when I get home. <laughs> yeah, it makes it seem as though Aoyama, like, he's just not going to quit anytime soon. So Shut as up. long as his body doesn't fall apart, you're just going to have to be in the limbo of yeah. well, it's, this bottom area. I, well, that that actually does make me feel real happy because that means if he does dip into Jirio, he's going to gun through it. I think he will. Which is... That means that if he does fall in the Jirio, like it's not the it's not the Kaisei fade into the sunset. Yes. It's the he dips down and then he comes back up. That's what it's looking the, like. Then I get the pleasant surprise of if he falls down in the Jirio and he's 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 gonna be fine. If you you know, even like I think even a five and ten they'd spare him maybe. Probably. Maybe, but like a six and nine would be a little bit safer, but like even then, you know, just like he'll be fine for he, here, probably here in November. So, you know, if in January he dips down, maybe like we'll get a nice spring present in March. Exactly. So uh, that that I, I'm very happy to hear that. Thank yes. you. Thank you for telling me. Yes, lots of <laughs> I I smiled big. I'm like, oh, John will be very happy I am to hear very this. Happy to hear this. So we're gonna think positive thoughts for Ayama. There's no slipping, so he can output his power, and you know he wants it. There's no hot shots down here, really. So he's got a decent shot if his good, body's good in order. Coasting along. Enjoying, yeah, just tread water. Enjoying the top division. Exactly. Speaking of somebody who's been sort of treading water for a long time, Koto Shoho, Magashir 14 West, down from Magashir 13 West. No Maki hold for Koto Shoho. So is this the one that you said you wanted to make a point yeah. on? Yeah, every single person on the Banzai gave a 7 and 8 held rank. And then not only did Koto Shoho not hold rank, but they dumped him an entire rank down. Compared mm. to the half rung knockdown of Ono Show with a six and nine. Mm. Now, as I had mentioned before, there was that big hole in the top. Right. So there was some of it was sort of there is no place to put these people. But I am looking. But they made a choice of who they were going to do it to. Made a choice. And also, again, not the half rung knock, but a full rung down for him. So I'm reading that as Carter Shoho is sort of being reminded mm. uh, that he's running out of patience i think there were high hopes for yeah, yeah. koto shoho there, and it's never not, come to fruition it not come to pass he had the he had that initial surge all the way back when he started then he got injured then he fell into that spiral went in the jury and when he comes back it's been there's been moments of really good and it looks like he's getting things together but like then he's injured then he's having this issue that issue it's nothing you've never had the complete you know it's just like the car is never been on the road and 100 percent yeah come back it feels like yeah it's it's kind of disappointing because isn't his brother koto tebakari on the way up i think he's top makushita yeah so it would have been nice to see koto shoho like really stamp a claim on yeah, being a so top level guy because i think his brother is probably gonna barring injuries i think his brother is gonna come up and be there, real flashy the the way that Chris Sumo talks about Koto Tebakari does make it sound like he's gonna just surge up and possibly leave his brother in the dust, which could help. It could. That's it could, that's the positive could, on it. This is, is yeah, it's a positive vibe. I I don't I don't see it as a bad thing for Koto Shoho. Um, and I mean also like, uh, Toby Zaro and Hidenomi. Yeah, Hidenomi. Yep. Hidenomi, like they're brothers. Yep. They're just, like they're worlds apart in terms of their sumo on the way. Right, you wouldn't even know at this point yeah. if not for you know? it being and discussed. Then there's, then there's the third Waka brother who's just been on salary this whole time, and both of his brothers are just like, "Come hang out with us, come hang out with us," and he's just like, "I'm trying." <laughs> yeah, except for poor so, Waka Takakage will yeah. be hanging out with them soon enough. Well, not for long. Well, yeah, we'll not see. We'll see. We'll yeah. talk about that. Yeah. So Koto, yeah. So for Koto Shoho, like he has been. I feel that fewer of his issues are mental these days, and mental issues were like that big hurdle for him to go right. from good to great. And now it's just the injuries. Now it's just technique. Yeah. Now he's just got to figure out a way to feel physically good in the yeah. ring. So that is the that's the positive spin on this for our positive September. Yes. Uh, is that like the big things that were holding him back from greatness was the doubt, whatever whatever mental stress issues he was having have dragged him down the jury. And now it's physical. And you know, as we see with Nishiki Fuji. You know, physical can really handicap you, but it feels like that's the kind of thing that he can work at because he is still also really young. Right, young youth people. is always yeah. They, these 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 young people they're in such ridiculous shape, um, and yeah, well, and recovery should happen well, a lot quicker. Should happen a lot faster. Waka Takakage is already still training. Ridiculous. We'll talk about him when we go to Jerio, but yeah, 
So like there is there there are things to be optimistic about, but that again that seven and eight knockdown I feel like is the Bonzake committee saying you need to start getting something together. And hopefully it actually works. Hopefully it works as a motivating factor. Hopefully, Fingers that's crossed. that's the intention. The hope that yeah, I mean that that is that is the we're doing this because we love you kind of a right. It's like that harsh father. Yes, you yeah. know punishment is, because yeah. i want you to grow kind of yeah. thing which is also a very japanese thing to have like very japanese stern with him because i want him to do well let's hope it works that, that's what i'm hoping we'll try everything <laughs> okay a tommy fuji my 15 east one of our first ones that we're discussing to come up from jurio so he had his debut last year it did not go well it did not go well and then he spent all that time in jurio so what are you expecting? He got an eleven to four. He got he came up. Anybody who comes up with the U show has that energy going with them, right? Um, it was so for him like the gap between Jirio and the top division was too big, and he just boop, they just they just beat him up and they sent him packing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a combination of Jirio U show plus the experience of being at the top. On paper, that means he should at least do okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it is interesting to compare him to, like, Shonana Umi, Gonoyama, uh, Hakuoho, who, who came up into the top division and said, this is no big deal. It doesn't seem like there's, like, a big swirling of hype around Atami Fuji. It's kind of like, okay, we'll yeah. see well, what you can there do. Is, he, he does seem to be somebody with potential for greatness. Right. But I think that a lot of people sort of, Maybe they hedged their bets on him the last time last year. And now they're hesitant. And now they're sort of like, well, we'll, we'll watch. We'll watch. So it could be also something that can help revitalize the Fuji stable. Who yeah. are almost, without exception, struggling. They went from being like the most dominant stable in sumo to every single one of them being hurt. They're, they're all injured. They all have their issues. And so maybe a Tommy Fuji is going to be sort of the breath of fresh air. That would be nice. Um, it's now... For somebody who was so decisively kicked out, I, I'm going to reserve final judgment until, I would say, the first week. Okay. Because the first week for him should just be these people. Right. He should have no trouble. Yeah. So if he if he is riding this momentum, you know, sort of went down to Jerio, got his stuff together, and is coming back with his stuff, should be fine. We should see a if we see if we see five wins out of him the first week, I think he's figured it out. Okay. I think I think we'll I think we'll know where he stands pretty quickly. I I would agree with that. Uh, but I feel, again, he's got the momentum. It looks like all the pieces are there. We just don't know if we're building the right puzzle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll find out. We'll, well, again, we'll find out soon. If he's yes. oh, if he's zero and four, then we're like, mm. yeah, maybe maybe not ready we're again. Not ready again. And again, this this does highlight the 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 the, the gap between Jirio. And massive it, it, it's so for some people they just they just skip over it like it's no big deal and other people this is, this is what happens mm-hmm. so let's see how round two turns out for you okay now we have our resident foxy trickster chio shoma magashir 15 west down from magashir 12 east six and nine the struggle has been going on a while but now wow. it's affecting the score yeah well now he's so I looked it up like typically when he is this low, when it's make or break, he makes and he's fine with it. So he will, he will sort of, you know, sober up enough mm. me- metaphorically. Um, so like uh, historically he's fine. And then, but he's still doing that struggle. It still seems that it's that weird hot and cold. He does the same thing and sometimes he wins and sometimes he loses. Mm-hmm. And so it's sort of a, it's, sort of, it's one of those you shrug and you it, optimistic september he's like i think he'll be fine but his you know his results are now starting to depend on the wrestlers he's fighting yes. not just him it's yeah it's, he's starting to lose control of his own destiny yes and this is sort of where this time around i'm like i'm hoping he's fine and it's just like it's like the math says he's fine the rank says he's fine in terms of winning and losing but we're just not going to be sure exactly so what these we get down at these bottom guys these are like the questions to be answered in september yep so hopefully i like i don't want him packing no he's 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 a bit low to have a buffer really though yeah so at 16 if he a six and nine could put him down that's the thing like he needs a seven and eight at the least and even then 
they could put him down. They could put him down. It would depend on how the Jurio guys do. So once again, he's not in control of his destiny. It's, he's got to. He needs to take the control back if he yes. wants to hold on. So, which would be uh, very similar. They're not a pairing, but Kageyaki Magashir sixteen East coming back from Jurio nine and six. He's just. This is where he is now. He's it's, just in the so, Jurio top division I keep, up. I feel like I keep thinking, come on, Kagiyaki. I want, like, I want to believe in him. I want him to do well. But it's just every, like, every time it comes back to talking to him, I feel like sort of his his goal is lowering. What yeah, is, it feels like it was a few years ago. Like we were talking about him. What what does he need to do, like, to break up to Sanyako? We're like, he's. he's it was he's, only a few years ago. Short, short years. And now we're looking at him. We're like, how does he stay out of Jurio? Like that's his level now. It's upsetting. Right. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like he can get out of that. It doesn't. Like, it seems like, like that's the new state. Like yeah, like for him, like that's his challenge. It's just like stay on the Banzuke. Yeah. <laughs> stay here. That is your goal. Don't fall again. And so he comes back up. Now he was here. Then he took a you know a slight dip down. Uh, a nine and six. So we we compare to the Atami Fuji. Uh, so weird 11 for you show in Jirio, mm. but that being said, that's a big two wins. Yeah. And that you have, you have a nine and six, which is okay. He did, he did well again. It's just like doing well in Jirio and doing well here. Worlds apart. Worlds apart. So for Kageyaki, I'm sort of just, I'm going to cross my fingers and be like, please do well. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, but it, as is always the case, when somebody goes down in the Jurio, that's you know that is where the transformation can happen. Right, you can possibly um, come back a better yeah, fighter. Mean, it, it could be a, it could be a Chiyomaru situation that they just sort of show up to say hi, and they have you know they come here, they have some snacks, they wave, you catch up, and then they leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. like I don't want that out of Kageyaki, but part of, there's a growing part of me that I'm like, mm. well, somebody's got to take that spot. I guess that's uh, the thing. There's always uh, somebody who fills a certain role. It just, it just it, yeah, it's, it's like you know, somebody is going to be the last person picked for dodgeball. You know, yep. you, you you look at the people on the on the fence, and you're just like, I don't like, I don't want any of them. <laughs> but somebody's <laughs> but gotta. It, it, someone's gotta. It's that's the way math works. Yeah. So his uh, counterpart, though, Sudagisho, five and ten. He's like in the fade. He's fading out. Yeah, that, it's like a miracle that he's still here. Yeah, that may that may spark is definitely that was a moment Harry that was thing. like the last bit of gas in the tank maybe he'll prove me wrong but it, it really seems like he gave it everything he he's could it. and now it's he like that, okay all yeah, that's left that, is fumes i did feel like he's just like i had my moment and now the moment's gone um it is it, at for in terms of whether or not he can stay out of jerio he's the only person who knows that mm-hmm. so it's like it's like a good surrogate show you know he can be fine here mm-hmm. um but is he gonna show up Right, this is not the Sudagi show of, of a few years ago. So, it'll be it like it is entire like I feel like so where where Chio Shoma like he has to sort of like get his fate back from other people. Like I do get the impression that like Sudagi show has complete control of his fate. It's just whether or not he wants to. Yeah, I feel like it's it's sort of the opposite end of the coin. It's like and, and you know so for Sudagi show it's like do I dig a little deeper and do I get this? Right. Can I? Like I feel like he can. Now, but know, it would take a lot of fortitude to do it. it would, so, it, you know, does he have, you know, how deep, how deep is that well that he draws from? You know, right. And, and like, even if it is, even if he can reach that deep, does he sort of just like it's good enough? Right. And you know, this, is Jurio good enough? Is Jurio good enough? So, and like, honestly, like again, the qualifier, like this is entirely their decision, and these are human beings. They're not just machines that make sumo happen. Right. So it is up to him how he's feeling, his health. It's all the factors. Right. Um, I'd like to keep him around, though. Yeah, I mean, I like he's him. he's got some fun like yeah. ballet, giant man sumo. Stuff. I don't like. I don't want him to go, but it really, it's not my choice at the end of the day. Right, it's his, it's like his. you said. So well, just let us know what you tell. Yeah, <laughs> tell, let us know tell, in September. Let us know in September how you feeling about this. <laughs> and finally, for the top division, we have Dai Shoho, Magashir seventeen east down for Magashir fourteen east six and nine. He was spared demotion because there wasn't a lot of guys coming up from Jurio. If Roga got a nine and six, he'd be done. Mm-hmm. He, he got lucky. He really needs to take the most out of this like mercy that was given to him uh-huh. and do something with it, or else he's right back in Jurio. Yeah, like there's this is like this is well about as 
do or dies you can get. I per- we have seen people hold. We have. It's the absolute rarest of graces, but I feel like the hold is not a place you want to be though. No. It's yeah. very mentally and physically taxing. Yeah, he's on the absolute edge. He needs to figure something out. Should be possible. It's possible. But once again, it's no room for what's error. the desire? Yep. He's gotta he's gotta he's gotta evolve things. He was, mm-hmm. He's been stuck in that in that the wrong side of the arms race. Yes. He's gotta evolve. And well, again, seven and eight, goodbye. Yeah. I don't I, No I room don't, for error at all. I don't want any of these people to go, but Dai Shoho, I'm afraid you are too far down to make mistakes. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at Jurio to see who's the potential to take his there's, spot. Because if a, there's nobody, which never happens, but if there's nobody, he could he hold is there. In trouble. Yeah, he but I'm guessing trouble. there's yeah. some guys. Yeah, let's let's take a look at Jerry over here. Hello, Roga. Yeah, Roga. There you go. Tama Shoho, Kitano Waka, Tomokaze. Tomokaze finally. Back and nine and six, and he's wow. back. Wow, it's been three years, hasn't it? It's oh my long, goodness! Long time. I really hope he's like gonna be I think good, our, yeah. good shape. I, it's been over three years. I think. I think our love of Tomokaze predates the podcast. <gasps> You're right. It does. It was like because it was like because we started it September. By the way, three year anniversary. Yay! Three year anniversary. Um, Cheers! But like that was like May, July, March. right? So we're talking about Tomokaze We've just been, to yeah. ourselves. Yeah, we, th- I mean we've. I mean, as soon as he showed up in Jerio, you couldn't get us to claim up about it. But no, it's like he's there, he's there. there. So, like right here, here's four people, gunning. Yeah, gunning. And so then, and then at, again, then you look at Dai Shoho, you look at Tsurugisho, you look at Kagayaki, you look at Chio Shomi. You're just like, oh, guys, God, they're coming guys, for you. They're coming. They're coming for you. But so, yeah, yeah Oshoma. So like, look at the killers right here. Yeah. So the people who went down were Bushozan, yep. who unfortunately still. Does not have not ready. Takes. Nope. And Wakataka Kage. So, okay. What in the world? I did not expect to hear that Wakataka Kage is training, training already. Again off an ACL. Let's let's do some comparison, okay? So Tagakesho says, I don't need to train. I understand my body. Wakataka Kage just got a major operation and he's training. Yes. More than Takakesho. That's insane. Either Wakataka Kage is the greatest healer, or he's crazy. Yeah. Well, if he got the if he got the ACL surgery, oh, it would have been like four months. Yeah, four Six months. months. Not a lot. So I'm I'm thinking what happened is that he like he must have behaved himself. He must stayed have. in bed, did what the doctor told him to do, which I believe that sounds like what he had mentioned to the press that he, he was just, gonna he, do. He's just like I'm just doing what I've been told is fair and not. Nice. Um, and so what they, so he won't, he goes to the doctor last week and he's like, how's it going? And it's like, you can try some light exercise. <laughs> yeah. So then he starts training again. Yeah. Um, and then people see him start training again and it's like, you're going to save your jury rank. And then Waka Kaka Kai goes, the, like, I'm like, what is wrong with people? Did they the, seriously the, ask him if he's coming back in September? Are you out of your mind? I, that like, I, and then I, I'm so glad he's just like, dude, I'm training. Yeah. Settle down. Go away. Go so, away. This is exceptional news for us. Yeah, I didn't expect to hear that. We thought we thought it was going to be a year before he was even able to do this again. So this tells us that he can could be back okay. as early as November, which yeah. means that he just he dips down to Makushta, gets a seven and zero. Right. It'd be it should be light pickings. Like oh my goodness, can you? This guy was this guy was on an Ozeki run. Yeah. So, I mean, in that sense, I mean, this is highly optimistic, though. Yeah, I mean, to be. Uh, yeah. Now, it could be that he'll need to he'll, he'll be doing this light training through the end of the year. And right. then January is when he does the full pickup. Right. But it's but it's, it's insane. Th- yeah, we were we had written him off for two years. So the fact we thought we wouldn't be talking about him. No, anymore. no. Well, like, we, we thought this would be this would be another discussion of we need a disabled list in sumo. He's clogging up Jerry and he's going to be clogging up. M- Makushita, but now we're looking at him. He's like, maybe, maybe that's can, nuts. If he comes right. back and God bless. <laughs> nothing bad happens to him, I will be amazed. Yeah. So we've got. It looks like Jirio is stacked with people who are just gonna clamoring go to come clamoring back, clamoring to come up. Like again, this 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 these five people are just. 
And don't forget, you have Shishi down there. Now he's a little yeah, bit yeah, low. So there, there's been a lot of talk up about Shishi. He's got the personality. Um, at eight, I think like he'd need the U show in order to get popped right. Up. And I don't think he's getting the U show, but um, got some. Who's who's new here? Ono Sato. He didn't even have a top knot. There's some. There's some. So the bottom's looking uh, like some fresh people coming up. But yeah, the big story Kiho, is Kiho. I think is. Uh, it's supposed to be a big name. Is he Miyagi now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course I hear Kiho. Of course I should know. Yeah. I only heard him because he's a Miyagi yeah. now. So we've got we've got four, maybe five people in this chunk in Jirio. And, and any, they all want it. Any of them would be in sniping distance of the top division. So I know Roga is a big deal. Might be doing another swap. New guys in, old guys out. Yep. So November has the has the opportunity for a lot of fire. Wow. Uh, so we're we're in another transition another tournament. Tra- this is a transition tournament, yes. But it's a very optimistic one. Yes. There'll be some nice clean sumo. There's no we really I think I think Kota no Waka is really the only do or die person here. That's the thing. Yeah, most now, guys can afford to Theoretically the Ozeki have to clear Catoban, but I feel like we've been there before. Yeah, I, I'm we're almost numb to it. Also, for like for Kirishima, if he doesn't get eight wins, he's still got an opportunity to get the ten. Get the ten, like, whatever. I don't know. We should probably be more worried about Taki Keisho, but I'm not gonna be because Taki Keisho is just, you know, do or die guy, and it's I'm just a, gonna let him do his thing. And if he yeah. if he dies out there, well, that's what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it, it's a weird. It's almost like a nihilistic approach it's just like well it, maybe he dies it is you like have to watch this guy go 150 down the road headed towards the brick wall mm. and you can't stop it so you just you go along for the ride go along for the ride so well we do need to do predictions. we do need predictions so we've got we've got so we've done everything we, we've talked a lot we've tried about- every type of <laughs> prediction <laughs> i know gone about it all so many different ways so who do we got we've got a long we've got we've got a i feel like the field's a little open it's a little open a little i think open. we could have a first timer first timer maybe a repeat maybe a back-to-back yeah i think all options are on the table I, yeah i feel like the energy for it's there's a lot of hope so it's not like there's it's not like you can look at this and be like it's definitely gonna be these two people right there's a lot of potential winners in this group I probably would have went with Asunayama if not for the toe injury because mm, yeah that would have been but I I just think he's it's gonna be really hard to overcome. Uh, yeah, scrolling up, scrolling down. Let let you, let you soak in the wrestlers. I know who I think, who but now I'm I'm really leery about the curse because uh. <laughs> we are cursed. I'm going to go with Kota Nowaka. Oh. He's he's in that mix. He's watching everybody pass him. You took my you took my guess again. No. <laughs> Two tournaments in a <laughs> row? Okay. You can pick the same person. Well, that's not fun. I we know. know. It's, it's can't, we can't head our bets. It's fine. It's fine. So we're looking at all this. So Kota Nowaka would be a really, would be a really fun pick. Um, I'm going to go for Kirishima. Okay. I feel like that's an equal pick in yeah, the sense yeah, that. I feel, this feel, well. He's doing a comeback, Hideshima. Also, what's weird is like there's no safe pick this time. There is no like, we, safe like, pick. T- like when Taran Fuji was king, we we're like, oh, of course Taran Fuji is going to probably be in it. But we're going to pick something a little bit more interesting. Like this time around, and you look at this and you're like. Yeah, a single person on here, you could say, oh, he's like, winning. You know, oh, sure. Yeah, he could probably win it. Kirishima, I feel like he got it. You know, Kota no Waki, he's probably got a. There's a. There's the- a outside chance of a real dark horse between Daisha and Wakamoto Haru. Yes, yeah, since they yeah. both could t- potentially get an Ozeki yeah. out of that. Yep, and then you're looking down here, like, Sanayama, like, healthy toe with Sanayama is a real front runner. Yeah. For it. Yeah, that toe yeah. is a shame. And then and then you go down here, you know, does, does, does a Tommy Fuji go on an absolute tear? If any, okay, so I'll say out of the new guys... I would pick Gonoyama as a potential. Gonoyama's got the potential. I think he's still too young to take this tournament, but out of all the new guys, obviously Haku Oho would have been a safe pick. Yes. But he's probably not going to be there. Uh, yeah, if he does show up, he... If he does show up, he's not winning it because he's not in he's good enough not shape. not in good enough shape the way it is. So uh, Gonoyama would be my new guy pick if a okay. new guy was going to do it. Like a 
a new wrestler, not a new you yep. show winner, because yep. obviously Kota Nawaka has never won before. So there's yeah. So we're, we're both going, both going top elite top guys. Yep. Reestablishing, but I feel like there's this can go in any direction. It can go in any direction. Any, anywhere we could even get Nishikigi. Was like, you know what? Oh, I'm not so scared good. anymore. So good. I got this. That would be great. Or. Hope to Fuji. Both of these guys right here. Don't don't sleep on either of them. Hey, he got toddler son energy. energy. Ne- never underestimate. All right, guys. Well, enjoy the tournament. I will be back in the second week for live stream chats and then the recap. As always, look out for polls in the community tab and feel free to make lots of comments because that's actually what triggers the algorithm. The more comments a video has, the more people will see the video. So say whatever you want or put like sumo emojis or something. As always, if we have 42 people each with their own pick, (laughs) somebody is going to call it right. So we can try that again and see if 42 of you will pick somebody different. We've We've had people come close. We have. We've had people pick some like supposed dark horses and they came in second. So come on, guys. Have fun with us. As always, thank you for listening. I'm going to be starting next Sunday, the 10th. Yes, that is when the tournament begins. And I hope we all enjoy. Peace.